Make no sense. Come out. Period in, period in, period in. What is that? <laughs> That's why most of these kids are stupid today. Cause of stupid songs like that. It don't oh, 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 get down there shooting. No, we ain't. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. And don't you worry. I got my killer stick, so if anybody try anything, it's gonna be a sad day for them and their mama. I'm coming, girl. I'm coming. Girl, I'm coming. Keep your head down and hold your breath. I'm on the way. It's all right, girl. Don't be scared. I've been waiting on this day. I got a rocket launch under your bed. Help me. Oh, oh Lord. You all right, boy? What happened? You been shot? Yeah, give me that car, boy. Dad, you all right? Why you on the floor? What? What the? Boy, I'll knock you upside your head with this stick. Dad, what are you talking about? I thought somebody was outside shooting. You talking about? No, no Dad, that's just a game. I'm playing GTA. You playing easy, babe? No, Dad. Grand Theft Auto. Like, okay, so it's this game where like you can go out, you can rob people, you can steal cars, you can rob banks. Dad, you can do whatever you want in this game. This game is fun. It's fun. Watch this. <laughs> See? You cut the damn game off. It ain't fun to hurt people. It ain't fun to steal from people either. People work hard for what they have. Dad, it's just a game. I don't care what it is. You give me the controller. All right. Don't make no sense. This is why y'all kids are so screwed up in the head now. Playing games like this. The game don't do nothing but rot your brain. That's all it do. Ain't nothing but a bunch of evil. That's all it is. Hey, you steal a car. You just press triangle. Press. Oh, thank you. Get out that ride, homie. Like I said, you, you, you shouldn't be playing this game. Nobody should be playing a game like this because it's very violent. Dad, huh? How come you can play it, but I can't? Well, because I'm grown, that's why. I ain't even trying to play I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to cut the thing off. How the hell you cut the thing off? Oh, to cut it off, you just- I don't need your help. I'll figure it out. You go wash the dishes. Ain't no dishes in there. We'll go make some and then wash them out. I'll take care of this. All right, all right. Mother you lost your mind playing these evil video games. Playing these stupid video games. Bad for your brain. You're just rotting your mind. That's all it is. That's why these kids messed up the way they messed up. Cause stuff like this. Hey Dad, what you want me to do with the Dad? What? I, I ain't doing nothing. I'm trying to figure out how to cut it off. Stupid game. You matter of fact, you know what? You grounded. What? Don't with me. You heard what I said. You, you you shouldn't be playing games like this no way. And you know that. So, I'm going to take this game with me. And you get it back when I feel like you earned it. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> playing these violent video games. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What am I supposed to do? Man. Sleepwalking or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened. What? Where I get this controller from? I, what in the world is going on? That's weird. Uh, thank you, son. Let me let me just um <laughs> cut this TV off and go to bed. <laughs> good night. But dad, you told me I. I say good night. I, 
All right. Damn, bro, it's not even fair, man. Dad. 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 Bro, you you a hypocrite, man. Oh, what? Who do you think you talking to? Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, man, it's too early for this, bro. What? I know this minute. Come on, bro. Why is this man standing outside the door like that? We're not even open yet, bro. I can't stand customers like that. What they be doing? Camping outside the store or something? Already? What time is it? What time? Dang, man. I... Oh well. Guess I'll just have to sleep here until they open. I gotta set my alarm. All right, so I know they open at eight, so I guess I'll just set my alarms to nothing crazy. Let's just do 6.30 all the way to eight o'clock. Ah, there we go. I'm ready to go home already. I don't even What the hell? Good morning, how you doing? Hey, man, how the hell you? Well, you know what? Since you asking, I'm ready to go. I don't really give a damn. Let me get a sausage biscuit. Uh, add egg and cheese on that. Let me also get a side of grits. Let me get some hash browns. Let me, ooh, let me get another sausage biscuit if you got it. And let me get a cup of orange juice. And make it snappy, will you? I ain't got all day. All right, sir, so let me get this straight. You said you want six cheeseburgers, no cheese, which is really just six hamburgers. Then you said no, you want- No, 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 I said six cheeseburgers, no cheese. What the hell is you? If you get a cheeseburger with no cheese, it's just a hip. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You said you want six cheeseburgers, no cheese, which don't make no damn sense. Six large fries, four Diet Cokes, and eight apple pies. You want separate bags or you- What I need separate bags for? I mean, I wasn't sure how many people you was ordering for, so I ain't. What the hell you mean, how many people? I'm ordering for myself. What you calling me greedy or something? Come on, man. I'm ready to go home, oh, bro. No, sir. Please pull up to the first window. Oh, okay. Don't make me come in there. Dang. I ain't know. Thought you was ordering for a party or something. Your ass gonna be on the toilet. Yeah, I can help you. A few moments later. All right, bro. The total is 4528. Oh no the hell it ain't. Hold up now. Hold on. I got some coupons for you. Yep. My meal should be free. Here you go. I need a damn coupon. Make no dip. Big bro, two things. One, we can only accept one coupon per customer. With your cheap ass. And second, I don't know if you know or not. These coupons expired in 2004. It's 2022. Let me speak to your manager. Oh, hell no, that is some bull. I just got them coupons yesterday. You talking about they expired. I just got them. See, you know, the problem is you don't know what you're doing because you're stupid. You're stupid, and I promise you, you won't have a job tomorrow. Let me speak to your manager. They just give jobs to any damn body talking about my coupons expired. Expired my ass. All right, sir, here's your order. You have a great day. Yes, sir, you too. I appreciate it. Uh-uh, what? Is there a problem? Wait a minute, I know you... What? What is this? It's a hamburger. Exactly, and what did I order? You ordered a hamburger. No, I ordered a hamburger, no burger. A what? A hamburger, no burger? What? That, that's just bread. Fool, I'm a vegetarian, I can't eat this. What, you trying to kill me or something? Am I trying to... What? Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, uh-uh, hold up, wait a minute. What the hell is this? You asked for a large fry. Exactly, a large fry, not multiple little fries. What? 
I know you ain't just, hey, me, I, I tell you what, you know what? I'm disappointed in your service. I'm disappointed and I just want you to know I'm about to leave one hell of a review. If I were you, I'd start looking for another job. Oh, your ass is in trouble. Employee named Daryl is disrespectful, incompetent, and doesn't know how to follow directions. I demand that he be fired immediately. Taking less L's, making more M's. I didn't do that. Now she got get like she can use it. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hey, my name is Daryl. Welcome to McDonald's. I hey, bro, let me get it. Oh, hey, what? Later that same evening. What? What? Mr. Mays, can you hear me? What? Uh-uh. Uh-huh, uh see, that's because you got two busted eardrums. I got what? Uh-huh, that's right. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut your ears off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, What's going on, man? How you doing? How can I help you? Yeah, we just having a little teeny tiny get together for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get some food for that. How can I help you? All right, man. Let me get all I got. Um, let me get 4,000 cheeseburgers, 3,000 large fries, 2,000 chicken sandwiches, and let me get 6,000 cups of Sprite. Whoo! Hey, I'm letting y'all know right now, this is my last order before I go on break, alright? So let's go ahead and knock this thing out, alright? Yo, let's... What? I don't know what I'm Man, who... Man, who the hell needs six thousand? Man, damn! How can I help you? Yeah, let me get a hamburger. Alright, what you want on it? Uh, yeah, let me get ketchup. Oh, cotton candy. What the hell is it? This ain't no basket robbers. Um, grape jelly. We don't usually put those kind of toppings on our burgers. Well, good thing I didn't ask you what you usually did. Now, did I? You asked me what I want. Damn it, I'm telling you what I want. Now, let me get M&M's, scrambled eggs, brown rice. Let me get... What? Bro, we don't even sell those items. I don't give a damn. Go find it. That's your job, ain't it? Welcome to McDonald's. What the hell you want? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, let me just get a... Uh... Number seven, no cheese, but I want bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, no bottom bun. Let me also get a large fry, but don't fry it in grease. I want you to fry it in Kool-Aid. Let me get a cheeseburger. Let me get a Big Mac. Let me get a chicken sandwich, no chicken. Give me the pickle, but take it off and put it back on there. Let me get a Whopper. Let me get a... I can't even... I don't even know what you... Let me get two Whoppers, how to be fatty and large fry. Appreciate that. Can you say that again, but 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 slower this time so I can actually hear you? Damn it, I just did say it slow. How much slower can I get? A whole bunch? Well, you need to listen quicker. I'm gonna say it one more time, and I ain't gonna say it no more. Let me get. Number seven, no cheese, but I want bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, no bottom bun. Let me also get a large fry, but don't fry it in grease. I want you to fry it in Kool-Aid. Let me get a cheeseburger. Let me get a Big Mac. Let me get a chicken sandwich, no chicken. Give me the pickle, but take it off and put it back on there. Let me get a waffle. Let me get a McGriddle. Let me get a waffle. Matter of fact, let me get two waffles. Gotta be fatty, large fry. I appreciate that. Look, you you gonna have to say it again, cause I ain't get none of that. I ain't hear not a single word you just said. Fool is you deaf? Hell no, I ain't saying it again. What's wrong with your ears? Is you stupid or something? You talking too damn fast? How am I supposed to? All right, let me tell you what I heard. You said you want to make chicken. You said you. I want to speak to somebody else because you, you stupid. You stupid and you don't know what you're doing. That's just how anybody nowadays, don't they? I done said the same word about 5,000 times and you still can't hear me. You need to get your damn ears checked. That's what you need to do because you can't hear. You need to learn how to listen. All right, bro. Total is 1374. You paying with cash or card? I'm paying cash. All right. Is there an issue? Yes, there is. I think you missed my hand. Oh, no, I didn't. I chose not to put it there because I want to make you work even harder. Go pick it up. That's your job, ain't it? Pick it up. Chop, chop, get to it. Pick it up. You get paid to do that. <sighs> All right, bro, here's your food. You have a good day. All right, bet. Um, hold up, hold up. Let me make some room real quick. Um. Hey, bro, you mind throwing some stuff away for me? Nah, we, we can't do that. That's against company policy. We can't take trash through the window. Have a good day. Oh, for real, y'all can't? Okay. All right, man. Uh, let me just... Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Me... What? Come on. Bro, I got, I 
I gotta clean that up. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, let me get a goddamn... Let me get a, uh... Let me... Y'all need to make these words bigger. Let me get a, uh... I got it. Let me get. Damn, I just had it. Y'all got too many options up here. I, I am confused. I don't know. I would get a cheeseburger, but I'm lactose intolerant. I would get a milkshake, but again, I'm lactose intolerant. My ass will explode. Any recommendations? Welcome to McDonald's. What it is? Yeah, let me get four cheeseburgers, six Big Macs, four large fries, and I need something healthy. Uh, two Diet Cokes. All right, your total is 15. And two chocolate chip cookies. All right, your new total is 17. And an apple pie. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. All right, your last total is 20. Matter of fact, make it three apple pies. Man, God damn, your total is 24.97. Pull around to the first window. All right, bet. Make up your mind, man. Damn, customers aggravate me. A few moments later. Here you go. Have a good day. Actually, uh, you know what? Is it too late to change my order? Well, I mean, we did already make it, so technically, you know, you know I just realized? Of course I can change it. What am I asking you for? I'm paying you. Technically, you work for me. <laughs> no, the hell I don't. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Yeah, go ahead and scratch the whole order. Let me just get two meat chickens and a large fry. We already... All right. Let me go tell them. Oh, and add a cookie. And an apple pie. That's it. Make up your damn mind. Hey, bro, he said he want to scrap the whole order. He just want two McChickens, a large fry, a cookie, and an apple pie. Man, damn. I wish you'd have said that before I cooked it. He going to have to wait. Tell him to put it around front. He going to have to wait. Hey, bro, bro, do me a favor. Pull up to the front real quick. What the hell I need to pull up to the front for? What's up there? Well, since your indecisive ass decided to change your order last minute, we got to cook it again. So the line going to be backed up. So you got to pull it around front and I'll bring it to you. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. I ain't going nowhere. I want my food. Maybe you don't get your... Bro, j just pull up to the front, bro, and I'll bring your food up there. Give me two seconds, bro. Give me two seconds. I'll meet you right up there. All right? Don't make me go off right here because I will go off. What's wrong with these people, man? I know he better watch who he raising his voice at. More moments later. All right, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. One, two, where the hell he at? Where's my food? You know what, I don't had about it, I don't had about it enough. I don't had enough. Excuse me? Where's my food? What the hell? Bro, why are you in here? I literally just told you I was going to bring it to you. And how long ago was that? I'm starving over here. Like 15 seconds. Oh, exactly. You told me two seconds. Where is my food? Bro, we have to cook it. It's not ready yet. Damn it, you listen to me and you listen good. Either you gonna give me my food right now, or I'm gonna take that cash register and I'm gonna bust you upside your damn head. This don't make no sense. Man, this is absolutely ridiculous. I've been waiting on my food now for about two minutes. Is it fast food or is it slow food? Which one is it? Because I'm confused. Get it together. All right, bro, bro, hear your food and hear your drink. You have a good day. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. I'll take care of it. Oh, I know you will. That's why they pay you, right? I wasn't going to clean it up. <laughs> Get to it. Oh, and um, if I were you, I would get to it quickly because the floor is getting kind of sticky. Whew, boy, it's closing time. I'm ready to go home, boy. I... Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, let me get a burger real quick. Hey, nah, big homie. Hey, we close. Come back tomorrow. The sign say 11. It's only 10.59. You said... Huh, 
You know what? You absolutely right. It's only 1059. Right, so I still got one minute. It is 1059. It is 1059. That's 1059. Come on, man, what you doing? All right, all right, all right. Let me just get my keys out of my pocket. Let me just grab my keys. Come on, keys, wait it. Let me just grab my keys so I can open the door for you. All right, here's on my key. Oh, would you look at that? It's 11 o'clock. Damn, looks like we closed. I guess you got to come back tomorrow. Damn. Oh, well, I won't be here tomorrow because I'm off, but good night. Later that same evening. <sighs> Man, I can't wait to go. What the hell? Hey, bro, you good? All right. <laughs> With these customers, man, customers crazy. What's well, I lost his damn. Hey, man, leave me alone, man. What you want? What you, you man, no, you can't have it. That's mine. What the hell? All right, okay, okay, okay. Here, yeah. here, yeah. hey, man. wrong with these customers? I quit. I ain't going back. I quit. Yeah, come on, bro. Yo, yeah, come on. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. That's what I'm talking about. Should have picked the better team, boy. Don't shoot. Don't shoot that. Yo, yeah, come on. Take it. We in here. We in here. Oh, front. Front of three. Did this man? Did this man just? Yo. Yeah. Let's go! Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. I could have sworn I just heard this man fought just now. He would have at least acknowledged it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, I, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. He ain't just passed no gas like that. Come on now. Come on now. You gonna have to come harder than that. You feel me? Oh, what's that? What's that? Bro, come on. How you miss a open? How you miss an open dunk like that? Bro, I know this man did not just fart and not say excuse me or nothing. I, I, I knew I wasn't tripping. I, I knew I wasn't tripping. Thank you, boo, little boy. Pe people just woo, man. Just woo. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. All right. I'm going to let it slide this time. I'm, this time, I'm going to let it slide. But next time, next time, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'll put that on guard. Hey, hey, D, you better pay attention, bro. This finna be nasty right here. <laughs> oh, it's nasty, all right. <laughs> what you mean? Nice? Nothing? Don't mean nothing. Alright. Alright, bet. All I'm gonna say is, don't do it again, bro. Don't do it again. That's nasty. That's nasty. What, you ain't got no home training or something? Do I need to put you outside? Alright. Like I said, don't do it again. See what, do it again, see what happened to you. Yeah. Come on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, D, I don't care how long you stare at me for, bro. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna stop you from catching these L's, bro. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you right. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah, in your, in your face. I know he didn't. Just... Oh hell no! See, did what I be talking? All right. Oh my God! What is that? It smell like a damn barnyard. See, you know what I be talking? That's why I don't invite people over to the house. You know what? This man about to make yo, me... yo, bro. I'm talking to you with the yellow hat. Is he talking? Bro, you see, we in here trying to win a game, right? But we can't focus because every time we look up, you in here opening up your ass cheeks on the damn couch. And 
I wasn't gonna say nothing at first, but one, you ain't saying excuse me or nothing. And two, you gassed up the whole damn stadium. The whole stadium smelled like a bucket of chitlins. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You have to go. You gotta go home, bro. You and me. What? <laughs> you can't kick me out. What you talking about? <laughs> he tripping, boy. What the hell you think you talking? I tell you what. Get your hell. Yeah. Oh hell no. I don't know who the hell you think you talking to. Stankin' ass. Stankin' up my jersey. Hi, how are you? And why the hell you ain't say nothing? Huh? Uh, Stop being a sissy. Exactly, that's what I be saying. Oh damn, sorry, I'm in the wrong damn video, my bad. I just needed some tissue. Give my damn basketball. So you just gonna sit here in the funk? You ain't gonna go get no Febreze or nothing? Huh? I mean, don't smell that bad. Oh, oh, don't smell that bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let me let me just go back to what I was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't hear you talking about. Talking about it don't smell that bad. I'm getting lightheaded just standing here. Good morning, class. I hope you all are ready to learn. I hope you brought your thinking caps today. Daryl, how you feeling this morning? I'm blessed as hell, Mr. Johnson. Thanks for asking. I had a great night's sleep. I woke up this morning. Thank you, Lord. I got up this morning, took a nice hot shower, and put on my favorite clothes. The bus was late, so I had time to catch up on some extra credit. Oh, but even though the bus was late, guess what? I was the first one in the cafeteria, so I got my breakfast first. What did I have? I had yogurt, I had cereal, I had a parfait, I had a granola bar, and some orange juice. So I guess you can say I'm having a great day so far. And to top it all off, I'm sitting here in my favorite teacher's class. It's gonna be a great day and I'm looking forward to what you have to teach us. As you can see, I got my book bag and I'm ready to learn. I'm telling you, Mr. Johnson, I'm blessed. I really can't complain. Oh my God, bro. I just got off the bus and I already wanna go home, bro. First of all, I went to bed late cause my mama made me stay up and do that stupid homework you told us to do. So I woke up late, then my clothes wasn't washed or folded or ironed or nothing. So I told my mama she was worthless and she started whooping me. So my left cheek is sore. Then I left the house and got chased by a damn dog. Then when I finally got to the bus stop, the bus was late. And because we the last stop, it wasn't no more seats left. So I had to stand up and the bus driver can't drive. I don't know how she got a license. The whole time I'm just rocking. So I got off the bus all dizzy and I threw up in the parking lot. Then I got to the cafeteria and guess what? One of my food left, so I stole off on the lunch lady. So basically to answer your question, I'm stressed. I'm hungry, my butt hurt, I got a headache, and on top of that I had to come here for homeroom. I hate this class. You the worst teacher in the whole school, and I... Whatever, don't worry about it. Why school so early anyway? And why we gotta be here so long? I don't even know what we here for, bro. I can learn everything on YouTube. I don't need you. Like I said, I'm ready to go home. I got time for this. Don't call my name. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I ain't come to school to learn today. I ain't come for that. If you get on my nerves at all today, bro, I put it on everything I love. I'ma throw this desk off that, that board at you, bro. And I put that on guard. All right, class, I need you to pull out a pencil and paper to figure out this equation. 3x minus 2sy ps5 minus sigma tv times 6 divided by 3 over 2 over 5 divided by 6 minus Nintendo Switch and divide that back 63,000 equals what? You guys have two minutes. Oh, wow! I'm excited to have my mind challenged. Even though this problem is for college students and we're in the third grade, I'm completely fine with trying to figure it out. All this is doing is preparing me to get my college education one day. My education is important to me. As a matter of fact, this problem's not even that hard. You should give us a harder problem. The harder it is, the more my mind will expand. These problems that you're giving us is gonna make me the smartest third grader in the world. All right, this is gonna I did it. You know what I just realized? God 
doing it, I forgot I was up all night volunteering at the food pantry. After the food pantry, I donated clothes to the homeless shelter. Then I had to go take care of the elderly. Then I had to go sing on the choir at my church. And after that, I remember I went home and I did the homework. But oh my God, I was so tired after saving lives as a volunteer firefighter that when I got home and I did the homework, I fell asleep on the table. Darn it! I must have left the homework on the kitchen table. But no need to worry, I tell you what. Instead of a two-page essay, how about I write a four-page essay and I'll bring it to you first thing in the morning. I'm so ashamed of myself and I beg for your forgiveness. I can't believe I left my homework on the table. That's crazy. Isn't it? Did we do? We had homework? We didn't even give us homework. I don't remember that. Uh-uh, bro, no, you ain't, you ain't saying nothing about no homework, bro. You, you trying to get us, bro, that cap, bro. He ain't give us no homework, bro. I Wait a minute, you talking about that six-page essay you said was due today? Yes, Daryl, that is the one. Damn, that's right, I meant to talk to you yesterday after class. I ain't doing that. Who you, who, who you don't write a six-page essay about photosynthesis? I can't even spell photosynthesis. Be all listen here. It ain't gonna happen, I'm not doing it. Do you know how long it's gonna take for me to write a six-page essay about photosynthesis? Too damn long. Miss Johnson, I got a life, and I ain't trying to spend it doing no homework. You mean to tell me you expect me to come to school for six to eight hours, to go home, to do some more school, to wake up in the morning and come back to school? My boy, let me tell you something. You got me twisted. If I'm spending all my time in school, what am I supposed to have time to do the important things in my life? Like play Fortnite and Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. When can I do that, Mr. Johnson? Huh? You want me to write a six-page essay about photosynthesis? I don't even know what that is. And I still don't know what that is. So, to answer your question, Mr. Johnson, did I do the homework? Yes, I did, because my mama said she'd be mad if I didn't, so here you go. Thank you, Miss Johnson. So, according to Miss Johnson, Jacob was acting up while I was out of the classroom. So, because of Jacob, the whole class gets detention now. You know what? You're right. We all deserve to be punished. One soldier falls, we all fall together. This should be a life lesson for all of us. We need to all watch after each other and keep each other accountable. When the teacher leaves the classroom, it does not give us the right to act crazy. It's on us to keep each other in line. You know what, Mr. Williams? I'm glad you did punish us. Because even though it was Jacob that got us all in trouble, we are a family and we are one. So though Jacob was the reason all this happened, we're right behind Jacob and we're gonna fall just with him. You know what, Mr. Williams? I don't think that punishment was hard enough. I believe you should give Jacob and the rest of us a harder punishment so we can learn from our mistakes. So, who's with me? Man, shut your ass up. Wait, what? You gonna punish all of us? Wait, we ain't even do nothing. It was just Jacob. I was in the bathroom the whole time, so I ain't got nothing to do with this. How you gonna punish me? I ain't even do nothing. That's not fair. Oh, so if one teacher get fired, y'all all get fired? No, it don't happen like that. So don't start that in here, because that's not how it go down. Today is his first day of school. Nobody even know him. You know what, Jacob? Since we all getting punished, I'll just punish you myself. No, come here, bro. Yeah, can you help me? I don't quite understand. All right, there you said you need help. No problem. So remember, what you gotta remember is you wanna do PEMDAS, PEMDAS, parentheses, uh, exponent. Okay, okay. okay, so multiplication, addition, and subtraction, okay? It's PEMDAS. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take this first number and you wanna divide it by 654, and you wanna take the other number and you wanna multiply it by the rest of the numbers. And you wanna take all that and you wanna divide it by pi. Remember, pi is 3.14. Bro, I'm about, I'm about to fail, bro. See, Ms. Johnson, I need help, bro. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. It's confusing. All right, all right, I'm coming. You say you need some help? All, all right, right, that's no it, bro. Like, problem. So what you wanna do is, you wanna take the PEMDAS method and you wanna multiply everything. So you gonna multiply 600 plus 300,000, then you gonna do Damn! Bitch, don't stop your breath away from me. No, oh, man, why your breath smell like that? What you been eating, chillings? I burn my eyebrows off my face. Nah, bro, for real, you need some gum or a mitt or some mouthwash or something, bro. Your hot breath was just melting my neck, bro. I knew I was itchy and I didn't know what that was. That's your breath, bro. Anybody got some gum or a Tic Tac or something? Can somebody get doo doo mouth a piece of gum? Nah, for real, you need to get your mouth looked at. You got some teeth decaying or something. Your breath smell like cavities. You need me to bring you a toothbrush or something? As he was talking, it was just a bunch of heat. It was just hot. I was like, damn, I got a fever? Why is your breath so hot? You could have cooked a hamburger on my neck just now. That's all my life flashing from my eyes. Am I blind? Oh, I still need your help, but help me from there. And speak up to the city. Maybe you'll melt the electrical system. We go home early. Need to brush your teeth. Smell like garbage truck juice. What's the answer number one? It ain't that hard. All you gotta do is you really gotta push up. All right, class. Today we're gonna be doing something exciting. Today we're gonna be watching a movie. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what yeah, I'm talking about right now. But don't get too excited, because you got a worksheet to go with it. Wait, we gotta do a worksheet while watching the movie? Awesome! That means I get to learn this twice as much. I pay attention to the worksheet and I pay attention to the movie. Oh, oh, everyone, that was one of the answers on the worksheet. You better pay attention. Bro, 
I'm about to go to jail for slapping this little boy, bro. On guard. Oh wow! No way, Mr. Johnson. This is a brilliant movie. Oh my gosh! Yes, I love this movie. Did everyone finish their worksheet? I know I did. I paid attention to the whole movie. Bro, shut up. This little boy annoying. Sorry about that, my grandpa just broke his neck, but this is more important, right? <laughs> Let me just reach in my bag and find my textbook. Give me one second. No, it's in here. Oh, here it is. Let's see. What page are we on? You know? It's all good, don't worry about it. I'll just guess. As my grandfather lies on the floor in pain, I was a little busy. <laughs> Trying to find the right page. Give me one second. Okay, I think it was. Okay. This is the right page? No. Okay. Oh, that's not fine. I'm making the right paper, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I was too busy trying not to cry. <laughs> you know what? How about we let someone else read? Bro, why would you call my name, bro? Bro, you obviously see I'm on my phone. You obviously see I'm not paying attention. Why would you call my name? Can't you see I'm going through something over here? My grandpa just broke his neck. But no, that's not important. Mr. Johnson wants me to read the paragraph. Or let me just find it. Let me just go through here and find the paragraph for him so he can stop crying. What's the page number? Here's a thought. Maybe if you was paying attention, you would know what page we was on, now wouldn't you? But I wasn't, I just... I just took, you know what, the hell with you in this damn paragraph. See this right here, bro, this is why nobody don't like you. This is why you the worst teacher in the whole school, because you do stupid stuff like this. It's 30 people in this classroom, everybody else hands was up but mine, and you decided to call on me. And then when I try to pay attention, you're talking about, oh, well, maybe if you were paying attention, you would know what page you was on. You think I don't know that? What I'm reading for anyway, you the teacher. How about you read the paragraph? That's your job, ain't it? They ain't paying you to make me read. They paying you to teach. They paying you to read to me. They ain't giving me no money. You want me to read? I'm gonna need a piece of your paycheck. Surprise! It's a pop quiz. And guess what it is? It's actually a math test. Clear your tables off. This test is 365 questions, and I'm giving you five minutes to do it, all right? Oh yeah, one more thing. No calculator can be used. No calculator? Well, that just makes it more of a challenge for me, because one thing I do love is a challenge. You may can take away our calculators, but you can't take away our fingers. I don't even need a calculator anyway, because this test is going to be easy. The answer is 12. <laughs> I did that without a calculator, all in my head. Who needs a calculator, dumb people? <laughs> Done. Man, that was very hard without a calculator. Psych! <laughs> no calculator? I'm about to fail. No, I'm failing. Don't even give me the test. No, I'm failing. If we can't use a calculator, I am failing. I'm telling you that right now. It is 2022. Why are we using our fingers or doing math in our head when we have calculators? That's why they gave it to us, so he can use it. Now give it to us! I don't think you understand. If you don't give me a calculator, then I'm gonna fail this test. If I fail this test, that means I gotta tell my mama. If I tell my mama, then she gonna whoop me. And if she whoop me, I'm gonna tell her that you didn't give me a calculator to pass the test. So she gonna come down here and she gonna be like, why you ain't give my I said to calculate, you would be like, y'all guess I didn't want to. And then my mom was gonna whoop your tail. And I don't think you want those problems. Give me the damn calculator or else. All right, guys, so for your homework tonight, I'm gonna keep it easy on you guys. I want you to look in your math book and do pages one through 300 tonight, all right? And if you do not show your work, you will fail. Wait, you're giving us all that homework? You must really care about our education because homework like this is gonna prepare us for the future. I promise you, when I come in tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have all the homework done. And you know what? I'm gonna do extra credit because I wanna be the best student I possibly could be. You want us to do what? Man, I ain't doing that mess. I don't even do work at school. 
school, so what make you think I'm gonna do it at home? You tripping. How you gonna expect me to go home and do all this homework, play video games, eat, play some more video games, go to sleep, and do it all over again? Man, you got me messed up. You know what? I'm gonna just start it right now, so I ain't gotta do it at home. <laughs> First question. If Mary had a goat, what was her cat's name? No, I failed. I'm done. All right, guys, now that the work is over for today, can anybody tell me where I can find some tape, a plastic bag, and a shovel? Anybody? Oh, finally. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the hell are we out there y'all going? The bell don't dismiss you, I dismiss you. You sit your asses down. Hey, that's a good point. You got a point. If you're not done instructing, we're not done learning. Believe me, sir, I've got all day. My education is very important to me. There's absolutely nowhere I'd rather be than learning here with you. So go ahead, continue teaching. No, I'm pretty sure you got that twisted. The bell absolutely does dismiss us. That's what the bell is for. Look at that. And we the only ones still sitting here. So with all due respect, Mr. Johnson, you can kiss my ass. Woo! Yo, this is dope. Bro, y'all really recreated the Krusty Krab. <sighs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab, how can I help you? Yo, bro, how I feel to work here? Welcome to the Krusty Krab, how can I help you? Which? Oh, I get it. I, I get I, I get it. You supposed to be like Squidward because Squidward always grumpy and he got an attitude all the time. <sighs> okay. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> Dad, what you get? Hell, I'm getting frustrated. You? Why? What you mean? Cause I'm looking at this menu and it don't make no damn sense. I just want a hamburger, sir. Can I can I get a hamburger? I just want a damn burger. All right. So you just want one Krabby Patty. What the hell I want a frozen patty for? What? I said, what the hell am I going to do with a frozen patty? What the hell? Bro, what is you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. Dad, he said a Krabby Patty. I don't give a damn if it's a crab patty, a chicken patty, a human patty. God damn it, I want a cooked burger. Dad, dad, dad. A Krabby Patty is a hamburger. That's just what they call it. They call a hamburger a Krabby Patty? Yes, dad. What the hell kind of restaurant? That's stupid! Why not just call it a hamburger? You confusing me! Sir, I don't mess with the food. I just work the register. What well, damn it, let me register something to you. If my food come out frozen, best believe your ass is getting kicked. Is that all? No, that's not all! I want a cooked burger, I want some fries, and I want a Sprite. We ain't got no Sprite. What well, damn it, you better go find some! Yeah, and then let me get a Krabby Patty meal with a... Lemonade. Alright, this together or separate? It's this a together? Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Appreciate what? You paying for my meal. Paying for your meal? Yeah, you said together, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, together as in you paying. You wanted to come here, not me. <laughs> I lost your damn mind. What you mean I'm paying? Exactly what the hell I said. You paying. Dad only got $20. You only got... Excuse me, sir. What's the total? 1965. Well, would you look at that? You got just enough. Come on, man. What the hell you mean, come on, man? I done took care of your little stankin' ass over 20 years. I done put food in your belly. I done put clothes on your back. I done kept a roof over your head. I done wiped your ass with my bare hand, and you can't even buy me a damn sandwich. Come on, Dad. You causing a scene. <laughs> that ain't me no causing a scene. I ain't causing no damn... Sorry, am I causing a scene? Everybody, am I causing a scene? Hell yeah. Shut your ass up. Sir, am I causing a scene? 1965. That's what the hell I thought. Now get a man the money so we can go. <sighs> Talking about I'm causing the scene. Have you seen your mind? Cause obviously you done lost it. Here you go, man. All right, here's your change, here's your receipt. And we'll call you when it's ready. Appreciate it, man. Damn, kids. And you remember what I told you. If my food come out frozen, I'm gonna freeze my size 11 steel toe boot in the crevice of your ass. Can't stand these people. Next! A few moments later. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Son, don't lie to me now. You know, you know if there's ever anything wrong, we can sit here and we can discuss it like mature adults. And you're not gonna yell? No, Dara, I won't yell. Okay, well, I mean, I, I feel like you embarrassed me in there. Embarrassed you? 
What the hell you mean I embarrassed you? Dad, you just said you weren't gonna yell. I'm not yelling. That's just how I talk when I get frustrated. Well, let me tell you something. You got some damn nerve to sit here, look me in my face, and tell me that I embarrassed you. You embarrassed me! I am the reason for your existence. You are a specimen of my hard work. I raised you from the one and little sissy, baby. <laughs> that you was, and now you can't even buy me, your one and only, loving dear father, a damn hamburger. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Treat me like that in public. Dad, that was my last $20. And it's a good ass $20, too. What was that? You say you want to walk home. What? That ain't even say nothing. Anybody blowing that kind of breath must mean they frustrated. And if you're frustrated, that means you're paying bills. And if you're paying bills, that must mean you're grown. And if you're grown, that means you can walk your grown ass to the house. What you? Dad, the house is 15 minutes from here. By car, yes it is. By foot, I believe it's about an hour and a half. Dad, are you serious? Dad, you are not going to make me walk home from here. So and I see you at the house. Man, come on, man. Wait, Wait son. Thank you for the sandwich. Man. <gasps> Better close my damn door. <laughs> Blowing the damn breath for me. Look at him bust his kneecaps and make his ass crawl home. Yeah, I'm More moments later. Hey, I swear, man. What was that? Uh, nothing. Oh, you ain't say. Oh, okay, okay. I was just making sure. Now go in there and change your clothes. You look rough. And you smell like outside. All right. And when you finish, come out this damn sweat off my floor. And take the trash out. And water the plants. And wash the clothes. And cook dinner. And then wash the dishes. How about you get your lazy ass up and do it? What the hell you say? I said the love of Jesus is gonna get me through it. That better be what you said. Two hours later. Hey D. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hell, nothing. Just chilly, really. You good? I don't know, bro. Pop just getting on my nerves, man. Hey, what happened? It's a long story, bro. But basically, he embarrassed me down at the new Krusty Krab down the street. Then on top of that, he made me walk home across the highway. And I got hit by a car. Oh, damn, that was you? What the hell? Hey, goddamn, my bad. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be more careful crossing six lanes of traffic. Man, whatever, bro. It don't even matter, man. I mean, you, were, you at least try to talk to him? For what? He ain't going to do no good. He ain't going to listen to me. Mmm. Okay. Okay. D, I'ma say this, bro, cause you my friend, and I care about you. I think the problem is, bro, I think you gotta stop being a little bitch. What? You too soft. The reason he talked to you like he do, and the reason he make you do certain things is cause you don't never check, bro. You don't never check, bro. You need to let him know, I ain't no little kid no more. I ain't no little baby no more, bro. And he ain't been be doing you like he been doing you. Bro, have you not met my daddy? Who you know can check him? You can, D. You can check him, bro, because you his son, bro. And you know him better than everybody. And so what you gonna have to do is meet him on his level and let him know you ain't finna tolerate no more disrespect. And if it don't stop on God, you gonna have to put hands on his old ass. Bro, you crazy as hell. No, I ain't about to do that, man. You tripping. You wanna have a good relationship with your daddy, don't you? I mean, yeah, I do, but... You I wanna be 45 years old still getting whooping from your daddy? <sighs> no. Exactly, bro. So stop being a sissy and go do something. All right, okay. I go talk to him. No, bro, you ain't going to just talk to him, bro. You going to set him straight. All right, bro. 
You want me to come with you? No, bro. I I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. All right. If you need me, if you need me, just holler. I got there on bop bop. Knock them damn bop focus off his face. Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sounds like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. That's right. Cause I'm a man. Now what you gonna do is you gonna shut up and you gonna listen to me, old man. I'm tired of you disrespecting me. I'm grown. I ain't no little kid no more. And you gonna treat me like a man on guard. Or I'm going to have to lay hands on you. Do you feel me, Hester? Or do I need to repeat myself to you? No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Who the hell you think you're talking to? Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sounds like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. Uh, Dad, can I talk to you real quick? About what? Can I sit down? Yeah, come on. Now what you want to talk about? I don't mean this in like a disrespectful way or anything like that, but like I feel like sometimes you can be so unnecessarily tough on me when I make mistakes or when I say the wrong things or do the wrong things. And I feel like it's not fair. I don't try to make you upset on purpose, but when I do, you do things like yell at me or slap me. And I understand you want me to be a man, but I feel like eventually it's gonna damage our relationship to where I don't even wanna talk to you anymore because of some of the things you put me through. And I don't want it to be like that, you know what I mean? Son, I understand. Okay, what you got to realize is I grew up in a different time when people weren't so sensitive and whippings weren't looked at as child abuse. It was looked at as strictly discipline. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what it is. Now, I guess I could admit, you know, that some of my methods are, you know, kind of old school. And, you know, I, if I'm being honest... I guess I can be a, a little tough sometimes. A little tough? Dad, you made me walk an hour on the highway to get back to the house. Oh, hell, boy, that ain't nothing. I used to walk two days just to get to school. What? My point is, son, the last thing I want is for our relationship to be damaged because of my parenting skills, okay? So from now on, I try my best to be more understanding and I try my best not to be so angry? No. Aggressive? No. Violent? No, boy, damn. I try my best not to be so tough, okay? All right. Now understand, that don't mean I'm not gonna be your daddy now. I don't give a damn you 24, 54, 104. I will not hesitate to whoop your ass. You understand? Yeah, dad, I understand. All right. Thanks, dad. Son, thank you for being honest with me. You have my word. That from this day forward, I'ma do better. Yeah. And I mean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm you better do better. Yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You better set his old ass straight. Excuse me? You excused. You heard what we said. Ain't gonna be no more disrespect. Ain't gonna be no more yelling. Ain't gonna be no more hit. Next time I come over here and Daryl crying, we gonna take turns rocking your damn jaw. Ain't that right, D? Uh see I didn't. He no, he. See, D scared of you, but I ain't scared of you, bro. I'm from the hood, bro. Oh, is that right? I right. <laughs> better better sit down. <laughs> Boy, goddamn, buckle your ass like a seatbelt. Bro, on God, bro. I'ma count to three, bro. And if your ass ain't in that cushion, we're gonna have a problem, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. You must have looked at everybody. Yo, Dad, what was that No. What the hell? Uh, uh, what the hell? Uh, how the hell he? Wait a minute. Hell, hell. Hey, you think you big and bad, huh? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no! Hey, so I don't give a name. I, I, I don't give a name. I tell you what I'm doing. Hey, 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 you listen to me, I don't care what it costs. What I'm telling you is, I want it gone. I don't give a damn if you got to burn the whole house down and rebuild it from the flow up, you get it gone. Derek, get my bags from the back. All right. Tired of talking to y'all. Tired of So y'all rented this house out for the weekend for what reason again? Bruh, it's long story, bruh. Basically, somehow, I don't know, Pops claims he saw like a ghost in the house or something. Everybody, put your hands in the air. This is a stick up. What the hell was that? Damn! Always at the good part. Oh, they're about to get paid. What's going on out here? Can't get no sleep in my own house. Well, I pay the bills. Make no sense. Hello? Nobody in here. Ain't nobody stupid enough to run up in my crib. I'm locked and loaded, suited and booted, ready for war. Let me go back to bed before. I know that boy ain't leaving my door unlocked. I, I done told that boy time and time again about locking my door. We live in the hood. You can't just be leaving. Oh. Lord, I swear, one of these days I'm just gonna hit the lottery and just move. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm just gonna be gone. Off the map. What the hell is that? What the Wait a minute now. I, I could have sworn that. Am I tripping? I it's the glasses. It, it's the glasses. The glasses is old and dirty. Probably a stain or something, ain't it? Probably a stain or something. <laughs> Need to give me a new prescription. The glasses playing tricks on me. <laughs> I thought I was tripping for a minute, but I about to, <laughs> I was about to say, but I knew it. <laughs> I knew wasn't nobody up in my damn house. I'll, <laughs> let me go back to bed before I mess around, go crazy around here. But <laughs> swear to God. Ow! I know it ain't a clown. Oh, the hell on that. Oh. oh, hell no! Girl, get your ass up and gather all your belongings. We leaving. Dad, what's the problem? The problem is you ain't up yet. Let's go. Where we going? I don't give a damn anywhere but here. What? You got 30 seconds to get in the car or I'm blowing this house up with you in it. What are you talking about, bro? 30. 25. Wait, oh, wait, okay, okay, wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. And basically, bro, that's why we're here. I ain't never known your dad to be scared of nothing. Not your mama, not the police, not that dog down the street. And you trying to tell me he got scared of a little ghost? Hey, bro, look, Pops talk a lot of junk, and he getting a lot of trouble. But one thing he said he don't do is he don't play with the devil. So I was like, all right, whatever. Hey, I feel him, though. <laughs> what did you... I didn't say nothing about Listen, you're not listening to me. Open your ears and listen to me. I was in the house. I go to the front door. I lock it. I turn around. It's a clown standing there looking me in my face. I said, oh, Lord. I cut the light on. He was gone. He just disappeared. What you, what you mean was he black? You, you ever seen a black clown? I didn't say he was dark. I said it was dark. Are you not listening to me? You going to put me on hold? Oh no, you ain't. You listen here. I don't give a damn who you gotta call. I don't care if you gotta call the Ghostbusters, Scooby and the gang. I don't give a damn. What I'm telling you is, I... hello, hello. I know he just hang up. Hey pops, everything all right? No, it ain't all right. What you standing around looking at me for? Go take your bags upstairs. It's like this every time I come over here, bro. I know, bro. I be trying to stop him, bro. I don't know what to do. I ain't paying you to stand around look stupid. What? You're not paying us at all. Okay, and. 
God, I'm not your son. You're going to stop talking to me like that. What was that? I said we're going to take these bags upstairs and be right back. Oh, okay. I might not be your daddy, but I ain't got no problem popping you in your lip. What did he just say? Bro, don't even worry about it, bro. Just, just come on. Just come on. Don't worry about it. Trust me. I done tried. Oh, we eating out there, don't we? I'm like y'all grown. Y'all ain't grown. Ain't grown at all. And he's so mean. I don't know how you deal with that. Bro, honestly, bro, you get used to it. That's just how he is, man. No, I don't want to get used to it. I want to get even. Bro, what, what you mean you want to get even? Bro, he can't just talk to us like that and get away with it. Bro, yes, he can, and he does. That's because you're a sissy. Bro, why everybody keep saying it? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, whatever. All I know is we need to do something. Bro, something like what? Man, I, I don't know. What if we, like, break his glasses or, or cut up his hat or just do some type of prank? <laughs> Think. What? Bro, are you trying to get yourself killed? Oh, I got it. What if we wait for him to go outside, pay somebody to drive the bus, when he's back across the street, they hit the gas, and they... Who, who's that? Bro, you invite somebody over or something? Nah, I didn't invite anybody over. Yeah, I... Who the hell is not... Okay, okay, damn kids playing ding dong ditch. We gonna see who end up in the ditch. Come on back. Come on, bring your Oh, Lord. I done messed around, got somebody pregnant. I knew, I knew I should have bought them damn condom from the flea market. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna have to pay child support. What's your mama name? Um, my mom's name's Gladys. Your mama name is Gladys. Glad do, I, do I know of Gladys? Is your mama, is she, is she short, she light skinned, she got red hair, and she got a fat, I mean, a big heart? Um, no. Oh, so then what the hell you want? Trick or treat. Trick or treat? Ain't, ain't it a little too early to be trick or treating Halloween until next week? Well, yeah, but I don't wanna wait, so trick or treat. Little boy. Where your parents at? Well, my daddy told me not to bother them for an hour because they're going to be in the bedroom wrestling. Okay. Well, um, in that case, I'll take that. Have a blessed one. Hey! Wait, bro, did you just see that? He just took the little boy's candy and made him cry. Yeah, I saw it, bro. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We gotta do something. Okay, bro, but do what? Man, I don't know. What if we... I got it. Let's play a prank on him. What kind of prank? A Halloween prank. I, I don't know. I ain't too sure about that. Bro, it's the perfect prank. You, you said he's scared of ghosts, right? What if we prank him that the house is haunted? I don't know, bro. What if we get caught? See, bro, that's the thing. We are not gonna get caught. We just gonna make him think the house is haunted. He ain't even gonna know we got anything to do with it. Come on, bro. It's gonna be funny. I guess you're right. It, I mean, it it will be funny, to be honest. Come on, man. Think about the times he whooped you. The times he embarrassed you. The times he wouldn't let you go hang out with your friends. The times he grounded you for nothing. Don't you want to get him back? Let it happen again. Let it happen again. It's going to be a damn stick next time. Give me some. Hey. Shit. I ain't gonna let nobody who the talk. Hell you God damn, hey, cuz who the hell Shut your ass. You better watch your mouth. What the heck? But what do you want me to do? I want you to cut the damn car and get the head out. Inquiry. You by the soft as a marshmallow. You know what, bro? You right. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Today you become a man. Wait. How are we supposed to do that? We ain't got no masks or props or nothing. Oh, that ain't no problem. 
It's a Halloween store like 15, 20 minutes from here. Okay, but how are we gonna get there? You think Pops will let us borrow his car? Bro, have you lost your mind? He don't even let me drive the car when he in it. So I know for a fact he ain't gonna let us drive by ourselves. Well, I'm gonna ask him. It's worth a try. All right. All right, go ahead. All right, I will. I don't know my daddy all my life. Ain't no way he gonna say yes to that. Ain't no way. A few moments later. He said yeah. What the? Bro, you know how long I've been asking? How you get him to say yeah? Um... Wait just a minute! You mean to tell me you got a donut with cheesecake filling? Give me 12. Nothing, he just said it was okay. Ain't that about oh, but he did say tiptoe down the stairs quietly because he's sleeping and he really don't want to wake him up. Okay, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, let's go. All right. my nap. Oh, maybe just 
Something wrong with the plumber. I... I not... Stop it! Oh, raggedy house! Say funny! Do I got some ghosts following me or something? Do I got some bad luck? Did I split a pole or crack a mirror or something? Around here. Am I tripping? I gotta be tripping. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What? Am I tripping? Something, maybe I need to go back to church. I need to go back, I need to go back to church. I need to go talk to you. Oh Lord! Heidi ho! Ha ha ha! Hold up now. Wait a, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold. I could have sworn. Am I crazy? I, I threw you outside. Wanna play? Hell no, I wanna play. You know what? I done had about enough. I tell you what. I, you wanna you wanna play? <laughs> oh here. <laughs> okay. I get it. Okay, I get it. Prank the old man. Okay, it's it's funny, Daryl. Okay. Girl, that's okay. I get it. You got me. <laughs> you got me. I don't know how the hell you came to movie so quick, but you got it. Okay, where the camera's at? Where the camera's at? I, let we, let's go ahead and just put a pause in it now for somebody to get hurt, because I'm about to get very violent, and I don't think you won't. <laughs> Heavenly Father, uh, I know I do a lot of singing, and, 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 and I'll be the first to admit that, but if you could just see it in your heart, to lay upon me a helping hand, I will be ever so grateful unto you. What? What's that? What? That's it! Daryl! And it, what was that boy's name? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. DeAndre, get down here right now! Let's play! going on around here. Oh, got, me, got me shaking and breathing all hard and you know what? You know what? No. I'm I'm the real OG. I'm the big POP. I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't scared of no no clowns, no 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 voodoo dolls. I ain't scared. They need to be scared of me. Ain't that right? They need Mind playing tricks on me. <laughs> nope, it ain't real. It ain't real. I'm, I'm gonna wake up any second in my bed. <sighs> nope, nope. I'm not. I'm not letting. Nope. I'm not doing. Nope. It ain't real. It ain't real. Just, just like my mama used to say, just like a dog. If you don't mess with it, it ain't gonna mess with you. It ain't. I, I'm fine. I, I, I ain't got nothing to worry about. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Wait a minute. I got a car. Damn it, I look. 
I left Daryl in the house. What the damn boy named Diedrich at the house. So, so I go back and get him. I don't like the boy like that. I, can, I, I mean, I can't just get another son. I got the... Damn it! Hold on, Daryl! Hold on, DeAndre. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm It's hilarious. We had that man terrified. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm not kind of bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I bad. don't. He deserved it. I guess you're right. You're right. Yeah, Take, you're yeah. right. You're right. That's you're what right. I'm saying, but yeah, I'm gonna be right. thirsty. I think we should go to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Get I bet. Yeah, get, get it ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got some uh, yeah, bro, 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 where do you think that man went though? That man took off, bro. bro. I promise you, we're not gonna see that man the rest of the night. Back. He long Back. gone. <laughs> long Back. gone. Back, bro. <laughs> Bro, we really did it. Bro, I think it was a work. I think a lot of people. I told you I had a bad plan. Seriously, we did not get a Chucky doll. Wait, hold, hold on. What you mean you ain't? So if you ain't do it, then who?
So what exactly made you choose to work in fast food? Are you serious? Like this was my dream job. Like ever since I was little, I wanted to work at McDonald's. I get to flip burgers. I get to serve people. I get to help people. I get to end world hunger. Like, oh my God, come on. Our mascot is a clown. Have you heard of Ronald McDonald? How much more fun is that? I'm gonna say this is by far the best job I've ever had. As a matter of fact, kids, look, this is my official spatula. I'm the one in the back that make your burgers. So you ask me why I chose this job. But really, this job chose me. I was made for this. I was born for this. If you want to live a fulfilled life of feeding people and ending world hunger, you come work with us. God damn it, I didn't choose it. I ain't had no choice. See, you might not understand this yet because you're too little, but when you get older, you're going to have this thing called bills. And the bill people don't care about how much money you got. They just want theirs. God damn it, I'm here to tell you, don't you believe these goddamn teachers for one second. I went to school, I graduated, I got a diploma, and I still couldn't find no damn job. So guess what? I have bills due. And guess who's hiring? McDonald's. The rent is due tomorrow. And guess who ain't got it? God damn it, I ain't got it. So I'm gonna say it again. I didn't choose this damn job. I was forced to take it. And the only reason I'm here right now is because they paid me to be here. Get my damn check. Oh, do you make a lot of money? Are you rich? That's a good question, kid. I actually am rich. I'm in the NFL and I play for the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets? Yeah, we're the best That's team the in the world. Team. I actually made $10 million last year. Yeah, I, 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 I bought everything. I got a boat, I got a house, I got 50 dogs for no damn reason. I got a bike, I got five Teslas, I got a Bentley truck, I got a Lambo, I got 50 computers, I got 50 bathrooms, and I'm the only one that lives in the house. I'm that rich. Am I rich? Hell no, I'm broke. My first contract was for $10 million. I spent it all because I have no financial literacy. No one helped me. Now I got medical bills to pay because I broke my back. I got 15 concussions. My eyes don't look straight. You see my eyes? Do y'all see my eyes? Look at me. And now I'm broke because I don't know how to use my money right. So am I rich? No. Why y'all think I'm here now on the football field? Because they pay me to come here because I'm that broke. So as a soldier, what is your typical work day look like? Young man, that is a great question. Every day I wake up and I put my life on the line for this country. And God damn it, I love every minute of it. Okay kids, listen, imagine Call of Duty, but in real life. I get to save people, or I get to stay in shape, or when I get to travel for free, we get to go on missions, we get to <laughs> jump out of planes. Oh and kids, guess what? I get a gun. That's what I do. It's so much fun. You can look at me as a superhero. It's my job to protect you, to make sure you and your family stay safe. As a matter of fact, I couldn't ask for anything more. Every day is like a nightmare. Bullets flying everywhere. Bombs just exploding. God damn it, you ever seen a day about it? We'll get ready to see them every day. Cause every day somebody get dead. And I don't know what you're thinking. You probably thinking, oh well in the video games, if I die, I just come back to life. Well god damn it, it ain't like that in real life. You die here, you just get dead. It's over. All that fun stuff you see on Call of Duty and Fortnite and Apex and all that, False. I'm really in this. Let me tell you a little kid something. You think you can handle this? Can you hold a gun to a man's face? Can you hold it to it? Look at him in the face. Can you do it? Can you do it? You can't be soft. Cause on some days, you have to pull that trigger. Bah! If you can do that, then come on. Every day is worth it. It take guts to do this. You can't be no sissy. Now who wanna sign up? You know what? I wanna be just like you. Can you give me some advice? Of course, kid. The first thing you gotta do is stay in school. All of you have to stay in school. If you wanna be a doctor, you have to stay in school. Make good grades, respect your parents, and you can be right where I am. I went to school for about 25 years, but it was worth it, because all I do is save lives now. Because without us, you would die. And my last advice I can give you kids is to eat your vegetables and always eat your fruits. That's how you stay healthy and you live a longer life. Oh, you want to be a doctor? No, you don't. I've been in school for 25 years. My hair is falling off. You see this? This is a wig. Y'all thought that was my hair? No. All oh, my hair fell off because of how stressful it is to be a doctor. You know, I try to save people's lives. I can't do it. I only save one person's lives. I had over 500 patients. I don't know what I'm doing. All that schooling was for nothing. I cry every time I wake up because I don't want to do this job. But it pays me well. So that's the only reason I'm a doctor still. I keep getting sued because I can't save nobody's life. Do y'all understand how much it costs to go to school to be a doctor? My tuition is 15 million dollars. You think I'm gonna pay that off? No! You want that debt? Huh? You want that debt? I didn't think so. Oh, I know. What is the hardest part about being a police officer? Well, you know, the hardest part to me is that, um, I can't save everybody. I mean, I would like to help everybody, but I just can't. Sometimes I'm late. I mean, sometimes I need days off. You know, I be tired. But if it was up to me, you know, I save everybody. Because that's just the kind of person I am. I want everybody to live and be happy. Like, one more thing is, I don't like to arrest people. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Just because you rob a bank don't mean you got to go to jail. You made a mistake. So I guess if I had to choose your man, I would say, I can't save everybody, and I don't like arresting people. Because I believe that everybody deserves uh, a Yeah, come in, Officer Mays. We got a gang shooting happening down the street from you. We need you to drop everything. Anyway, I wish I could save everybody, but I can't.
Cause sometimes I'm busy. Little boy, you wanna know what the hardest part is? I don't get no damn respect until I start busting heads around here. Oh, y'all think I don't know? Everybody talking about F12, F the pig. God damn it, I'm trying to save your life. You wanna know what the hardest part of my job is? The hardest part of my job is not beating people upside the head with your damn bitty club. I don't get no damn respect. Tell me why I pull somebody over for a broken taillight, they start shooting at my ass. What kind of mess is that? I bet y'all get some goddamn respect, I start busting heads. Every single day, I wake up and put my life on the line for y'all. I try to help y'all, and y'all don't show me no damn respect. And he's sleeping. He's, you see what? That's why I be talking about no damn respect. So if you weren't doing what you're doing right now, what would you be doing instead? That's a good question. Well, if I wasn't in prison, you know, I'll probably be a police officer. Get those criminals off the streets. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I went in the wrong direction. And I grew up saying, I want to be a police officer, but I made the wrong choices. That's why I came here, to let y'all know not to make the wrong choices, all right? To you that asked the question over here, just know to do the right choices, all right? I wanted to be a police officer, but that didn't happen. I look at police officers every day being like, I want to be you, but I can't be you, because I made the wrong choices. So make the right decisions, and maybe you can be a police officer. Shoot! I'll be doing the same damn thing I did to get in prison. I would have been stealing and selling drugs on the street. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they caught me, but if they didn't catch me, I'll be a whole millionaire right now, uh-huh. I'll be like Tony Montana. You know who Tony Montana is, boy? Yeah, he used to get all the money, all the girls. That was me. That was me till they caught me. And 2151, I'ma be rich when I get out. I'ma be doing all the most illegal stuff and be the richest person on the streets. Know that. You got any more questions, kid? So, how did your school classes prepare you for the job you have now? Well, uh, see, really, school helped me be a better boxer. See, because I had to use the calculations, like the, the, the quadratic formula, to, 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 to calculate how to punch people in their face. See, the truth is, everything I learned in school helped me to become a better boxer. Reading, writing, math, and how exactly did it help? Uh, in many ways. See, because in my writing class, we had to, like, you know, learn how to write sentences, so now when I punch, I write sentences. Bam! Bam! You see, you see how that works? Everything you learn in school is important. And then see, when it comes to reading, I, I gotta know how to read my opponent. You see what I'm saying? So I gotta be able to... Oh! I read that he about to go left. Bow! You see what I'm saying? Little kids, listen to me. If you wanna be a good boxer, you gotta stay in school. Because school is gonna teach you everything you need to know. Ain't that right, Miss Johnson? It didn't. I ain't never used a goddamn thing I learned in school out here. I ain't used no goddamn quadratic formula. I ain't used no slope intercept. I ain't used none of that. I ain't never had to use it, never will. Matter of fact, I tell you how school prepared me. School made me aggressive. Every time I came to them damn walls, I wanted to fight somebody. So now I get to whoop ass professionally. School made me this angry. Matter of fact, I got kicked out of school because every time I failed a test, I punched the teacher. Oh, that's an F? Bah! Oh, that's a D? Bah! Oh, that's a C? Bah! I used to kick ass. Ain't nobody teach me nothing. Ooh, I swear, every time I walk in the school, I just wanted to. School made me aggressive. School made me angry. Matter of fact, I had a teacher tell me I wasn't going to mount to nothing. <laughs> Ain't that something? Ain't that right, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> you remember that? I know you remember that. Well, now you gotta pay for it. Oh, you know what I want? I want a job where I can have fun. Is your job fun? Is my job fun? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I woke up this morning <laughs> and God blessed me <laughs> to wake up <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> can I get an amen? <laughs> I'm blessed and I get to tell people why God is good. And that's the funnest thing you can do in this life. I'm here <laughs> to tell you, you can get saved today. You can get saved today. You can get saved today. And y'all know what? After life is over, we can go have some more fun in heaven! The devil tempts me every single day! No, this ain't fun! I'm out here trying to look good for all y'all! And then the devil make me look at stuff I don't want to look at! Actually, your teacher, yeah, Miss Johnson, I seen a big booty and I said, oh lord, I saw it! It was the devil's fault! Now y'all pray for me! Let's pray right now! Lord, I like Miss Johnson booty. Ah, oh, you see, I did it again. And then people come to me complaining about their problems and what they dealing with. Do I look like Jesus? Thank you guys so much for coming to speak to our class. Do you have any final words or thoughts? Everybody, I just want you to remember that school is important. You cannot be successful in life without a good education. So stay in school and get good grades. Everybody get out now. They a bunch of damn liars. They do want to take your money. If you can drop out, drop out today. I got one more thought. Miss Johnson, let me get that booty! Come here, Miss Johnson! Hey, dear, how's it going? Me and the wife are planning a little day night tonight and want to know if you could watch our baby for us. You any good with children? <laughs>
You want me to watch your baby? I feel so honored. Absolutely. I'd love to watch your baby for you. Am I good with children? You betcha. I love kids and they love me. Ooh, we'll play games. And we can do arts and crafts. We'll have a dance party. We'll play hide and seek. We're gonna have a great time. And I'll make sure to put him to bed for you. You know what, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to pay me. The happiness of your baby will be payment enough. I'll tell you what, let me throw some clothes on and I'll be right there. You want me to watch your baby? Do I look like a daycare teacher to you? I can barely take care of my own kids. You want me to take care of yours? Am I good with children? Hell no. I don't like them and they don't like me. Kids is nasty. Damn snot and boogers and poop and pee. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta change their diapers and feed them. Gotta clean up after them. Anybody got time for that? Kids is too much work. Plus they rude. They disrespectful. They don't like to listen. Hell, I been unchoked your baby. Nope. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. What if we pay you $200? I'll be there by five minutes. Thanks again for agreeing to watch our baby while we go out. I think we went over everything. You need anything else from me? No, sir. I think we're all good here. But let me just be sure. You said no candy. No scary movies. You said no juice after seven. Can I give him drugs? <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, you got something to make him sleepy just in case I got... You know what? Never mind. You said the diapers are in the bathroom. You said the food is in the kitchen cabinet. I got both of y'all phone numbers. In case of an emergency, you said to call Uncle Al, right? No, 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 no. We said call anybody but Uncle Al. Uncle Al tried to sell our baby for some Jordans last year. Which Jordans? Was it the fours or what? You know what? Never mind. Anyway, I think that's everything. And the last thing you said is to make sure he's in bed by 8 o'clock. That's no problem. So I think we're good. Now you guys go on and enjoy yourselves. I got everything under control here. <clears throat> yeah, real quick before you go, I need you to sign this form for me. So basically what it says is, in case of an emergency, you give me permission to use my hand, a belt, a switch, an extension cord, a steel chair, a frying pan, or anything within my reach or grasp to discipline your baby if things get out of hand. Um, yeah, we actually don't believe in spanking our child. If he gives you any trouble, just give him his tablet and put him in the corner for timeout. He'll be fine. So I need your signature here, here, and here. I also need your initials here. Smile for the camera, please. Thank you. All right, stand still for me. I'm gonna just get a blood sample off you. Do me a favor. I need a urine test. Go and piss in this cup for me. All right, thank you very much. Now I just need two forms of ID from you. Here we go. Thank you. All right, now I just need you to speak into the microphone and repeat after me. I give Daryl Mage permission to whip my child's ass if he misbehaves. All right, that has been documented. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, and your total for the evening comes out to be... $265.24. And just for your information, I only take hundreds and I don't give change. All right? Nice doing business with you. You are dismissed. Hey, Daryl, what's going on? Just calling to make sure everything's all right. How's it going so far? Hey there. Everything's going great. We're having so much fun. That's awesome. What's he doing right now? Huh? <laughs> He's sleeping. Sit down. He's been an absolute delight. No trouble at all. Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's just my grandfather's ashes. I'll just go get some more. <laughs> but yeah, everything's going great. You have an absolutely amazing child. Uh-oh. <laughs> you better come get this little boy. I'm about to choke the hell out of him. He jumping on my couch. He done peed all over my floor. He done colored and scribbled all over my wall. This boy is a demon. I gave him four Benadryl. He still ain't tired. Why is he not tired? <laughs> I tell you, get your ass on my couch. <laughs> is that Christopher? Why is he crying? Cause he done busted his head on a coffee table. That's what you get. Maybe next time you'll think twice before you jump on my couch. What about that crying? I wanna hear it. Get up. He be alright. He be alright. <sighs> Feels great to be home. <laughs> Boy, you better get back in the <laughs> Before I tag you and you be it. <laughs> We just playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you better run. I'm coming. <laughs> Christopher, will you have enough of You see what happens when you don't spank your child? I'll tell you what. You might not spank him, but I'm about to beat his ass. Bring your ass back here, boy. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, you want to play like. Thanks for watching Christopher Forrest. How was he? Was he well behaved? Are you kidding me? No, thank you for giving me the opportunity to watch a little bundle of joy. He was great. He didn't cause any trouble at all. We had so much fun. I'm telling you, it flew by so fast. I don't even want to leave. But I got to. You're both wonderful parents. And you are so blessed to have a child like Christopher. He's one of a kind. A little angel sent from heaven. Well behaved. More like hell behaved. The boy is evil. He is the devil himself. He destroyed my furniture. He spilled my grandfather's ashes. He peed on my Bible. He threw up all over my carpet. I gave Give the boy 15 Benadryls. Does he not get tired or something? I am exhausted. Where y'all get this kid from? You might want to get him checked. Cause something ain't right. I was whooping the boy with my belt and he was laughing. Did you hear what I said? He was, mm -mm. something ain't right. If I was you, I'd get rid of him. 
Oh, real quick before you go. Would you want to watch Christopher again next weekend? Absolutely. I'd love to watch Christopher play next weekend. No the hell I wouldn't, but I know who would. All right. Everybody, clear the room. I'll take it from here. Oh, Christopher. Yeah? I received a call about a disturbance. No, wait, no. Just want to take a minute. Oh, how I'm doing out there? I'm doing good? I, am I winning? I'm winning, right? What's going on? I, I can, can I go home yet? You're doing great out there. You just keep doing what you're doing. And don't forget to bob and weave. You can still win this thing. I believe in you. All you gotta do is catch him with his guard down. Bop, bop. Then it'll be all over. You can go home and get you some ice cream. Hell no, you ain't winning. You're getting your ass kicked out there. What the hell you think you're doing? That ain't what we practice. Why you keep throwing your face into his fist like that? I ain't teach you that. Remember what I told you? Bob, weave? Damn, damn. Oh, damn. My bad. Coach, what you doing? You see him fight right now? What you hitting me for? Suck it up. You be alright. Stop all that damn crying. You man. I like it. Coach, I don't know if I can do this. This man is too fast. He's too strong. And he hit me in my head. I think I got a concussion. I'm seeing stars, son. I don't think I can do this, coach. What, 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 what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't wanna do this no more. Don't you ever say you can't. You can do whatever you put your mind to. The Bible say you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Boy, do you understand you got the strength of God? You can do this. Don't give up. Whether you win or lose, son, the most important thing is that you had fun and you tried your best. You know what? You got damn right. You ain't gonna win. You suck. You a loser. You you despicable. You absolutely pitiful. All that damn time we wasted in training. For what? For you to come out here and get your ass beat. And now you want to give up. Well, guess what? It's too late. The fight already started. So get your soft ass back out there. Either you gonna knock him out, or I'm gonna knock you out. And I put that on guard. Okay, coach. Can I get some water at least? I feel like I'm about to die. I need some water. I'm dehydrated, coach. My, my lips dry. You see, I got... I, I need some water, coach. Yeah. I need some water, coach. Can I get some water at least? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Make sure you drink all of that. Hydration is important. No, you can't get no water. You wanna know why? Cause water is for winners. Matter of fact, look at the scoreboard. Do it say winner beside your name? Let me answer that for you. No, the hell it don't. You got to earn your water. And you ain't earned it yet. But coach, what if I pass out? You better not. Well, let me tell you something. Whether you pass out or not, it's not my problem. If you was winning, you would have some damn water. So tell me this. Who problem is that? Exactly. Now go out there and earn it. Until then, you better drink that damn sweat. You know what, coach? You right! That's what I'm talking about! You can do it! Go out there and have fun! You ready? I'm ready! I'm ready! You need to go and get your ass! Let's go! You better get out there and you better ah! Damn! You knocked the hell out of you! Medic! Can I get a medic? Stop all that damn crying and shivering, boy! You embarrassing me! Thank you, God, for another day. It's gonna be a good one, too. I feel it. Ooh. <sighs> Ain't nothing gonna kill my vibe today. Oh, oh, what the hell going on? Daryl! Daryl, get in here! Don't make no sense. It's always something. Every single time, this boy find a way to make me upset. I done had it! Daryl, get in here! Daryl! Girl, look, look, I, I swear to God, I'm gonna give you 2.5 seconds to explain to me why the bathroom floor is covered in... Boy, you... I swear to God. About that bed. Dad, what's wrong with you? I'm so sorry to disturb your peace. You wanna explain to me why the bathroom flow is covered in water? I almost just bust my head on the corner of the tub just now. Oh, you think that's funny? No, Dad, um, I didn't. Okay, okay, Dad, okay. It's my fault, okay? I I accidentally clogged the toilet up last night and I didn't know how to unclog it, so I just, I just left it thinking maybe it'll go away on its own. You ain't know how to, son, that's what we got a plunger for. What, that I don't know how to use no plunger? But that thing I've been in the toilet and doo-doo and pee, I ain't touching that thing, that thing nasty. Nasty? Oh, you, you, you wanna talk nasty? I, I just slipped in doo-doo water and you telling me, oh boy, you listen here, you listen good. I don't know who you think, oh boy, boy, if, I swear to God, if my hip wasn't throbbing right now, I'd come over there and jump kick you in your damn head.
Ooh, boy, you don't even know what. Back in my day, I'd have caught a case on your ass. Listen here. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. Get up. Go in there and clean that bathroom up and unclog that toilet. If anybody going to clog up my toilet, it's going to be me and a big old bag of Taco Bell. All right, Dad. Okay. All right. Now, if you'd excuse me, I'm going to escort myself to the hospital. Because I'm pretty sure something in my lower region done snapped. Talking about nasty. Could have gave me a concussion. Then what? Then maybe you will shut up for once. What you just think to me, boy? Huh? I said, what did you just think to me, boy? <laughs> that what you talking about? I, I ain't thinking about nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I thought. That bathroom better be clean before I get back. If I come back and there's still doo-doo water on my floor, I'm going to scoop it up in the bucket and make you drink it. Okay, Dad. I'm going to clean it up. I clean it up when I get ready. <laughs> Always complaining. Hey, my fault you can't see. Maybe you clean them big old hair powder glasses off, you would have seen the water on the floor. I'm talking about you gonna make me drink it. Right. <laughs> I don't care if you my daddy or not, I lay hands on you and I put that on guard. I don't know who you think you talking to. I'm grown. I'm a grown man. This might be your house, but this is my room. Don't disrespect me like that in my room. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. I agree, man. You think you big and bad? I tell yeah. you, you no, 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 no. What the hell? So tell me, how does it taste? Bitch, you watch your thoughts next time, won't you? <laughs> Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Well, absolutely, officer. I know exactly why you pulled me over. Officer, did you see how fast I was just going? Have I lost my damn mind? I ought to be ashamed of myself. Not only did I put my life in danger, but I endangered the lives of the people around me, didn't I? Mr. Officer, thank you for stopping me. Who knows what could have occurred? I could have hit a human. I could've hit a dog. I could've hit a damn wall. You know what, officer? I'm glad you was back there hiding in them bushes. Thanks to you, officer, I lived to speed another, I mean, drive another day. Hold that thought. <clears throat> Good morning to all of my live Facebook viewers. Okay, I'm ready. I just wanted to make sure I captured this moment on video in case your ass try to get off. Cause I know how y'all do. So, let me get this straight. You ask me, do I know why you pulled me over? Hmm, let me think. Cause obviously I'm some kind of goddamn mind reader. Do I know why you pulled me over? Hell no, I don't know why you pulled me over. And goddammit, if I had to guess, I would say probably because you ain't got nothing better to do than to mess up my damn day. Matter of fact, since we asking questions, why the hell would you tucked up in them damn bushes like that? You just looking for trouble. Well, damn, let me tell you something. You got the right one today. So, what is it, Mr. Officer? How can I be of assistance to you today? You were going 80 and the 35. Do you want to explain to me why you was going so fast? Was I really going that fast? I didn't even realize. Officer, I am so sorry. I'm actually rushing to church. See, officer, being that I'm the deacon of the church, the pastor asked me to preach the word this morning. But I'm running late because I had to save a squirrel from choking. Then I had to drop off some canned goods at the food bank. Then I had to go buy some school clothes for some kids in need. Then I had to pull a man out of a burning car on the highway this morning. And you ain't gonna believe this. I found $10,000 this morning. And I donated it all to the police academy. But anyway, long story short, I gotta leave Bible study in about five minutes. So that's why I was driving so fast. First of all, Mr. Officer, you're being dramatic. I wasn't going in a 35. I was going 79. God damn it, if you're gonna accuse me, accuse me correctly. Secondly, the reason I was going kinda fast is because every second I'm late is more money taken out of my damn paycheck. And now, thanks to you, Mr. Officer, because you got me sitting here on the side of the road wasting more of my damn time, my money about to be looking real funny. Which means I won't be able to pay my bills on time, which also means I'm gonna be behind for the rest of the month. So hear me clearly when I say this unto you. If I catch you outside that uniform, I'm gonna fold your ass like a dish rag. You know what? I'm gonna need to see your license and registration. Well, absolutely, officer. That's no problem. As a matter of fact, I trust you 100%. But for safety purposes, as you can see, there's nothing in my hands. I'm just gonna slowly reach into the center console and grab my registration for you, okay? Here you go, sir. Now let me just grab my license for you out of my wallet. God damn it, I dropped it. Give me one second. Freeze. Just kidding. Here you go, sir. All right, all my live 
Facebook viewers, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The officer has just asked me to hand him my license and registration. Let me show you how to properly handle this situation. Hell no! I ain't reaching for a damn thing. Do I look like boo-boo the fool to you? Hell no, I know how this go. I ain't reaching for a damn thing. But I tell you what, Mr. Officer, you want it so bad, you walk your ass right here, you come get it. Ain't finna be no accidents right here. Not today. Hell, you ain't finna shoot me and get away with it. Cause goddamn it, I shoot back. And I can guarantee to you, I don't miss. Oh, the hell on now, sir, I know that ain't no threat. Look here, goddamn it, Mr. Police Man, with all due respect, I don't make threats, I make promises. And I can promise you, you try me today, it ain't gonna go how you think it's gonna go. And as the kids say, I put that on guard. You can save your excuses, buddy. Either way, I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. Officer, you know what? I wouldn't let you not give me a ticket. Matter of fact, you know what? Charge me twice. I should know better. I've been driving over 40 years. There's no excuse for my behavior. You clogged me going 80 in the 35. I was flying like a bat out of hell. I could have really hurt myself or hurt somebody. You know what? Forget the ticket. Just put the cuffs on me. I deserve more than a ticket. Officer, just lock me up and throw away the key. I need to serve time to think about what I did. And I guarantee you, when I get out at 75, I'll be a better man. You gonna give me a ticket? Oh, you gonna give me a ticket, huh? So, what you telling me is, you gonna give me a ticket. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Officer. I don't give a damn. Do you know how many damn tickets I got that I still ain't paid? Book some, officer. Book some. You know what? Come on. Go give me a ticket so I can stack it with the rest of them. Go and give me a damn ticket for speeding. That's like give me a ticket for walking fast. You really must have nothing better to do. First you cut into my paycheck. Now you make me pay a five for speeding. Like I said, if I catch your ass out that uniform. Bam. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mays, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. Yes, sir, no problem. I can absolutely do that. No need to ask me twice. For what? What the hell you need me to step out for? What kind of mess? Get out the car now! Who the hell is that? Look at I that. said get out now! Hell no. <laughs> Mr. Pop Mays, you on trial for the murder of murder? What the hell? What the hell you talking about murder? Hold the hell on now, you better get it right. <laughs> I ain't murdered nobody yet. Oh, damn. Um, uh, <laughs> my bad. Wrong file. <laughs> <clears throat> Where was I at? The hell? Oh, damn. That's the pop maze. You are on trial for going 95 in a 30. First and foremost, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Mr. Judge, um, I'm a man of God, and I may be a lot of things. You know, people say I'm mean, angry, aggressive, violent. Some people say I'm handsome, <clears throat> a role model for the youth of today. But your highness, I can assure you, I it's your honor. Alright, whatever. I can assure you that I am no liar. If I say I'ma do something, I'ma do it. Eventually. Miss Mays, what the heck do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, yes or no? Yeah, uh... Mm-hmm. Yep. Hell no! Not if the truth gonna get me locked up. I'm too pretty for jail. God damn it, I ain't going. By any means necessary. You can try to take me to jail if you want to. It's gonna be a fight to the death. We gonna be on the news. Who getting locked up today? Not me. Hell, if it's gonna keep me out of jail, I tell the lie, the whole lie, and nothing but the lie. And that's as the young kids say, on guard. <laughs> Mr. Mays, why were you speeding? Well, your majesty, see what happened was, I was on my way to feed the homeless after rescuing a cat from a tree. See, when I woke up late, cause I was up all night knitting sweaters for kids in need. See, I was supposed to be in the soup kitchen by nine, but I woke up at 8.45. So as you can see, I was in a pinch. So I was in the car doing my Bible study, and I guess I was just so filled with the spirit, I didn't realize I was going that fast. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. Your royalness, I am so sorry. Because, goddammit, I was late to work. You ever been late to work? See, when you show up late, they dock your pay. You missed the big money. My money little. I need all the money I can get. See, I woke up late, cause I was up all night watching Netflix. Now, I was supposed to be work by seven. I woke up at 9 15. So as you can see, my money was decreasing. So I hopped off my ass, got in my vehicle, and I burned rubber. And that's why I'm here, missing a whole day of pay to come argue with your ass. Do you understand that by going that fast, you were putting other people's lives in danger? Mr. Judge, listen. Damn it, Mr. Mays, it's your honor. Yes, sir, I am honored to be here. Mr. Judge, yes, I do understand I put other people's lives in danger. And that's why I'm ashamed of my actions. As the deacon of my church, this is unacceptable. I will think about that day for the rest of my life. Mr. Judge, I pray that you would have mercy on me. I will never do anything like this again. You have my word. Bruh, bit off. Is you not listening? I was late. The hell with the people in danger. My job was in danger. My money was on the line. If I don't pay these bills, who gonna pay them? Not you. Exactly. Was anybody hurt? Was anybody hit? Did I run over anybody? Hell no. So the way I see it, I have done nothing wrong. Case dismissed. <laughs> Mr. Mage, do you have any final words before I reach my verdict? Yes, Your Excellency. I just want to say I deserve whatever punishment you decide. My behavior was completely unacceptable. I mean, come on. I was going 65 miles over the speed limit. Am I crazy? I'm talking about like life sentence. Lock me up and throw away the key. As a matter of fact, you need to revoke my license. I don't deserve it. My Sunday school kids in my church would be so disappointed with me. Mr. Judge, I am ready for your verdict. Yeah, I just want to say this some bullshit. 
I don't see what the problem is. You see, my question is, why was the officer hiding in the bushes like that? Seems very suspect to me. You know something else? Not only was I docked for pay on that day, I'm missing a whole day of pay being here right now. Which means my check is gonna be short. So, the real question is, do you have any final questions before I hop that desk on your ass? Cause I believe you got me twisted, Mr. Judge. I tell you what, if I lose my job, it's gonna be me and you. So just be ready. I'm gonna roll your ass up like a burrito and then fold your ass like a lawn chair. Past the pop maze, I sentence you to 10 years in prison. No! Give me 15 to 20, Judge. I deserve it. I will sit in my jail cell and reflect on the horrible decision that I made. And I guarantee I'll be a better man when I get out at 75 years old. 10 years! All right, Mr. Maze, look like you coming with me. Hell no! Got it! Hey man, how's it going? I was just calling to see if you guys were open. And if so, what are your hours for today? First and foremost, sir, I'm blessed as hell. Thanks for asking. Secondly, that's a great question. You're doing too. We're open. We're open every day, Monday through Sunday, just to make sure that you have everything you need to be a satisfied customer. I can guarantee you, we'll be here every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Matter of fact, just in case you can't make it on time, I'll stay here until midnight just for you. It's my duty to make sure as a value customer that you're taken care of. As a matter of fact, you got a way to get here? You need a ride? I can go get my keys right now. All right, I just want to make sure you have a great experience with us. I look forward to seeing you soon, buddy. You be blessed as hell. Are we open? No, I'm, I'm just here answering the phone for fun. Did you not just hear me answering the damn phone? What kind of question is that? I swear to God, bro, I just got here. Don't start that. You ain't doing nothing but wasting my damn time. You could have Googled that. And let me tell you something. I don't know what they hours are, but my hours are from 8 to 2, and my four of them going to be spent in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. On guard, bro, I ain't trying to do no work today, so don't even come up here, bro. You keep your ass at home till about 2 o'clock. Matter of fact, make it 2.30. I was late this morning, so I got to make that time up. But after that, I don't give a damn where you go, who you know, what you doing. All I know is I'm going to be gone, headed home, so leave me alone and get the hell off this phone. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Do you work here? Well, absolutely I work here. I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. This is the best job in the world. Just look at how happy I am. No need to apologize. You want to ask me a question? I love answering customer questions. That's what they pay me for, to serve you. Come on, give me some work to do. What do you need? Need me to take something to your car? Need me to walk you to the other side of the store to find something? Need me to <laughs> whip your children? Need me to bury your body? Whatever it is, the answer is yes, sir, no problem. I can do that for you. I know you would do I work here? Why don't you keep asking me these stupid ass questions? You know what? No, no. I, I don't work here. I just bought this damn shirt off of Amazon. I stole me a name tag and came here to stack boxes for free. You stupid or something? What the hell it look like? Get away from me, bro. I ain't got time for this, man. I swear to God, don't even talk to me, bro. On guard, bro. I ain't answering no questions. I ain't going to get nothing from the back. I ain't helping you take nothing to your car. I got 30 minutes till I get off, bro. So real talk, on guard. If you ain't trying to get Will Smith slapped around here, I suggest you get out of my face. Would you mind checking to see if you have any more of these in the back? This was the last one on the floor. Ah, oh my god, that is completely unacceptable. Of course I can check for you. I'll see to it personally that you get exactly what you're looking for. You wait right here. I'll be back. I can't believe this. Can't find it anywhere. God damn it, team, this is unacceptable. I cannot believe this at all. Where is the location? Ah, oh my god, we're completely sold out. What am I gonna tell the customer? <laughs> there has to be another way. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm so sorry, sir. Unfortunately, we seem to be completely sold out. But I tell you what, don't you worry your little head. There's a store only four hours away that has some available. So I tell you what, you get comfortable, take a load off. I'll take care of everything for you. Okay? Hell yes, I'm mine. God damn it, if it ain't on the floor, we ain't got it. Let me get this straight. You want me to stop what I'm doing, go all the way to the back room to find something for your ass. And that's the crazy part. I ain't getting no extra money for it. You lost your damn mind. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. As far as I'm concerned, you can take that drink and you can shove it up. Hey, Juwan, come up here and jump on this register for me. Let me see if I can find it for you. I can't hop on the register right now. I'm with a customer. I'm gonna go check for you. Yeah. Hey, 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 bro, when I said Kiosa came in in some tights, bro, she came in in some tights, bro, that booty was moving. I was like, damn, I wish Daryl was here. Oh, damn, it's time to go. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no more. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Do you mind telling me where the bread is? Well, yes, I sure can. I can tell you where everything in the store is. The cereal, aisle three. Ooh, the rice is on aisle seven. The candy's on aisle five. The condoms on aisle nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But sir, to answer your question, the bread is on aisle four. You know how to get there? You just go out this way, make a left, make a right, make a U-turn, and it's gonna be right there. Matter of fact, you know what? Come on, get up my back. I'll take you myself. Yeah! Bro, it's signs on top of every aisle that tell you what's on it, bro. I'm not finna show you with nothing there, cuz. Get out my face, bro. Use your eyes. Bro, it literally tell you right there. Let's use our eyes together. Aisle four. Peanut butter, condiments, bread. Why y'all keep asking me these stupid ass questions? Just look for it. It ain't that hard. I get off.
off in 30 minutes, bro. Ain't nobody got time for this game, bro. Got my face! Thank you so much. You've been super helpful. Are you guys allowed to take tips? No, sir. Absolutely not. It's against company policy. And even if we could, I wouldn't take it. Because I don't do this for the money. I do this for the amazing customers like yourself. You said what? Hell yeah, I'll take tips. Matter of fact, if you ain't got cash, I take Venmo. I take Cash App. I take PayPal. I take Food Stamps. Hell, I take a coupon if it's free. The hell with this company. They got money. I'm the one struggling. Do I take tips? Absolutely goddamn loony. Check a tree. Ah. Only take one. Okay, hmm, which one should I get? Should I get a Twix? Ooh, or maybe a Snickers bar. Oh, but they got Skittles too. Oh, and they got Starburst. Hey, you guys got all the good candy. I don't even know which one to get. <laughs> Let me see what I have already. Hmm, I got Skittles. Laffy Daffy. Sweet Tarts. Hmm, I don't have a Snickers bar yet. That's what I'll get. Oh wait, but I don't have a Twix either. I'm stumped again. Hey mom, if you had to choose between a Snickers bar and a Twix bar, which one would you choose? A Snickers bar? You're right. All right, let me just grab. Thank you. Open the door. Take a treat. Take a treat. What did I say? Only take one. Excuse me? I know you don't mean only take one piece of candy. Have you lost your mind? It's Halloween. I've been waiting for this day all year, and you want me to take one piece of candy. Matter of fact, let me ask you this. How do you expect people to take one piece of candy and you left the whole damn bowl out here on the porch? What kind of sense do that make? I know you hear me. Are you stupid or something? I tell you what, okay, I'll just take one. I'm taking one right now. I'm only grabbing one, just one. You know what? Since you want to be funny, I'm taking this too. Trick or treat! Oh my bad, sorry about that. You must not want to be bothered. Sorry to bother you. Today is Halloween and you left your porch light on so I thought you was giving away candy. Just so you know for next year, whenever it's Halloween and people see your porch light on, that means you're giving away candy. So if you're not giving away candy, you might want to turn it off. You know what? As a matter of fact, don't even worry about it. You look so comfortable on the couch. I'll cut the light out for you. There you go. Now you'll get no more kids coming to bother you. You just enjoy some TV and relax. Have a good day. Trick or treat. Not a shirt. Hey, big homie. I know you heard me knock on this door and say trick or treat. I don't know if you know or not, but when your porch light on on Halloween, that means you got candy. I bet. Okay, I feel you ain't giving out candy, but let me ask you this. If you ain't giving out candy, why the hell your porch light on? Oh, God, bro. You done made me walk from the street all the way up your driveway to come up here to your door, and you ain't got no candy? My dog, you think this a joke? You know how this works. If you ain't got no candy, then cut off. Damn porch light! Nah, bro, I'm tired of y'all playing with me, bro. It's the fourth house I done went to with the porch light on, and you ain't giving out candy. You know it's hot wing, bro. Why you play? I'll tell you what, you wanna play games? Hey, man, what did you do? Where the candy at? I ain't got no candy. Okay. I just said, hey, I want some candy! Hey there, happy Halloween. I don't give up. You want some candy, don't you? Well, guess what? I got something even better for you. Bam! Can you say dental hygiene? You might not know this, but candy is terrible for your teeth. I'm doing you a favor. Here you go. You know what? You are absolutely right. Candy is terrible for my teeth. Matter of fact, that's exactly why I got all these cavities now. You know what? Thank you so much for caring about our teeth. Oh my god, and this is the good stuff. This is expensive. And oh my god, are these soft bristle toothbrushes? My dentist is gonna be so shocked when I go back with perfect teeth. You know what? You just inspired me. Matter of fact, I don't even want the candy I have. Here, you take it. I'm gonna go home and start brushing right now thanks to you. Wow, I got Colgate toothpaste. How lucky am I? Bro, I know this man ain't just trying to hand me some toothpaste and some dental floss. Bro, I'd slap you across your face with this bucket, bro. If I'm walking up to your house on Halloween, bro, what makes you think I want to walk off this porch with a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and some dental floss? Bro, I swear to God, it's taking everything in me right now to not swing this guitar at your head. I don't care nothing about no cavities. My teeth are my problem, not yours. So how about you let me worry about that? You got some nerve. You know that? Look at my teeth. You see the thing wrong? I don't think so. Trying to hand me some dental floss. Only no dinner flower. Oh. 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 I'll be alright. I'll fight through it. Out. 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 Hey there, happy Halloween. What's going on with you? Let me see. Let me see what I got for you in here. Let me see. Hmm. Should I give you a Reese's Puff? Should I give you a Reese's? Or should I do a Kit Kat? Let me, let me think. What about should I give you? Let me see. Oh. 
You know what? I know the perfect thing for you. Here you go. Here you go. Bam! Don't let it spoil your dinner. Thank you! You know what? This does count as candy, so thank you so much. I think my grandma eats these. And now, thanks to you, we can eat them together. She's gonna be so happy. What flavor is this, by the way? <sighs> Smells minty. This is gonna make my breath smell fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bro, see, this is what I be talking about, bro. What is that? Explain to me, why would I want that? What am I supposed to do with a peppermint? You want me to slap you? You can't even call that candy. That's what my grandma give me at church. You don't get that kind of candy out on Halloween? What's wrong with you? That's for old people. How you gonna... It ain't even got no flavor. That candy is for people 65 and older. You think I'm... Hey, old lady. Oh, Lord Jesus, I been wrong. I bet, I bet she got some in here. What I tell you? Well, she got a whole bag in here. Why would you give me that? Over oh, a Kit Kat bar or a Reese's cup? I don't know. I tell you what, you cut the damn light off. If that light is on when I walk past here, I'm going to bust your glasses and knock you inside your head. Cut it off! Hey, yeah, happy holiday. Oh, now ain't you a little too old to be trick-or-treating? Oh, uh, yeah. The reason that I'm trick-or-treating is because, because, because my son is at home sick and I didn't want him to miss out, you know what I'm saying, on, on Halloween candy. So I told him that I will come out here and I'll go house to house for him while he recover sickly in bed. Because see, I am a loving father who just wants his son to feel his best. And so it is my duty to make sure hey, that can he... we go home now? I got a boo-boo. Boy, shut the hell up! I don't even know who that is. Better, um, if you don't mind, I just grab that myself. You have a good day. Excuse me. First of all, listen to me. It ain't none of your business how old I am. It's your job to pass out candy. So don't be worried about my age. Halloween ain't just for children. I eat M&M's. I eat Kit Kat. I eat Skittles. You know how much a bag of candy costs nowadays? A bag of candy is about $15. Why would I go buy a bag of candy for $15 when your stupid ass is giving it away for free? Explain that to me. See, the thing is, you can't. You wonder why? Because what I'm doing is a good financial decision. Whereas you going out here buying all these bags of candy for these kids who are in there with cavities and root canals and all this other stuff. And see, I'm here saving money while you will be going broke. So before you judge me, I suggest you look at yourself and ask the question, why am I stupid as hell? You have a good day. Hey there, you want some candy? Let me see what I, let me see what I got for you in here. Oh, no, I had some somewhere. Let me just take that off for you. There you go. You, you took the wrapper off for me? What? Thank you. That's the most annoying part. Bro, I swear I hate having to pull the wrapper off. See, 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 this is why I like coming to your house, because you always think about the kids first, and I appreciate that. Look, Joe. Good, though. How long you done had this? Starting to taste a little sour, like, a little, a little weird. I don't know. Thank you. Oh man, what's wrong with you? Where the rap at? How you gonna give me a Starburst with no rap on it? I don't know what you did with that candy. Have you lost your mind? I know you ain't just trying to hand me candy out your pocket just now. I done bust you upside your head with this bucket. Matter of fact, you know what? You going to jail. Hello, number one. Yeah, this man tried to poison me with a, a piece of candy outside the wrapper. Yes, sir, he's at 5776 Burger Gang Lane. Yo, yup, he tried to poison me. He tried. That nigga right there. Hey, he right, he right here. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, I, I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, it's that time of year, ain't it? <laughs> Let me see what I got for you in here. Let me see. You got some Skittles. You got some uh, Starburst in here. Let me see. You got a Snickers. Get... Ah, don't you put your hand in my bowl. You get what I give you. Oh, here we go. There we go. Tootsie Roll and some dots. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, I really appreciate that. Wow, I haven't had a Tootsie Roll in years. And I ain't never had a dots before. I bet that's gonna be good. Thank you so much for letting me try different kinds of candy. I mean, I would've preferred, you know what I'm saying, like a Skittle or m and or a Twix or Sour Patch, you know what I'm saying? But, but these are fine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm grateful, you tell me, man. I mean, my favorite candy is a Kit Kat, you know what I'm saying? I see you got a lot in that bowl right there, but I mean, it, it, it's all good, you know? <laughs> This is just great. Thank you for being so generous. You have a great day. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't give me the skills. Don't you put your hand in my bowl. You 
ahead in my bowl. You get what I give you. Man, hold on, man. I get what I want. I don't even see what you're taking all this time to decide for. I just told you what I wanted. You just wasting time. Up here looking through candy. It don't make no sense for you to give me candy I'm not gonna eat. What if I was allergic to a Tootsie Roll and you ain't know that? I'm trying to tell you I can't eat no damn Tootsie Roll and you give it to me anyway. My whole neck swell up. I'm falling and I die right here on your porch. How you gonna feel then? Stupid. You need to learn to listen. Talking about I get what you give me. Do something about it. Sick of y'all old folk. Hey there, yeah, Merry Christmas, I mean, Happy Halloween. You know what's sweeter than candy? A long live life, here you go. Yeah. Oh my God, thank you. I wasn't expecting to get any fruit. Wow, a banana on Halloween. Thank you for caring about my health. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> you know what, I'm glad you're not giving us candy because sugar is not good for our bodies anyway. I'm a growing boy. Fruit is healthy and health is wealth. It's people like you that keep the youth like me going. You keep us healthy and strong. Do you know you're the only person that gave me fruit today? It's because you care so much. And I thank you for it. You have a great night. Sumner. It's Halloween and you, I was about to egg your, you think I got dressed in this costume, got me a bucket and came and knocked on your door for you to give me some fruit? You don't know. Oh, I, 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 I tell you what, how about we share it? All right, and here I come. <laughs> Did I get you? Whoa. <laughs> That sure was scary. I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> yeah, I got it. That was creative. <laughs> I think you might just be the 14th person to try that tonight. Look at you being original. Woo! That was pretty scary. <laughs> but back to business. Uh, what kind of candy you got? supposed to be. You said, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was pretty obvious. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a police officer. And I'm here to protect and serve. That candy basket. <laughs> yes, sir, that's right. That's who I be. The pigs, the op, 12, one time, the knocks, whatever you want to call me, that's who I am. Now, sir, my first order of business is to order you to put some candy in this book. Thank you, sir. You just saved yourself a trip to the penitentiary. Hmm. You know what? Something's not right. I think I'm gonna have to take this bowl in for questioning. I'll bring this back to you after I'm done with it. You have a great day. I'm about to be a couple things. An inmate, a boxer, a wrestler, a dentist. What it look like? I walked up to your house with a police hat on, a baton, a walkie token, and some dog shade. What else could I be? A dragon? You know what, as a matter of fact, turn around. I'm gonna arrest you for real. For stupidity. And what are you supposed to be? An idiot? Well, that's a great costume. Y'all gonna stop trying me tonight, bro. Y'all gonna, gonna stop trying me for real. Just egg I tell you. Have a good night. Happy Halloween, you know what? I like your outfit so much, I'ma let you pick your own candy. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want out of there? You definitely got some good stuff in there. <laughs> See what I might do out of there. You know what? I just realized, I got cavities. <laughs> I ain't supposed to be no candy. <laughs> My dentist told me, he said, don't go out there and go trick or treat, cause your teeth was terrible. You can't even have no candy. <laughs> After I passed, I appreciate it. Bro, what, what is this? Where you get this candy from, the dollar store? Where the good stuff at? Where the, where the Snickers, the Reese's, the Kit Kats, the Starburst, the something? I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm telling you right now, you wasted some money, cause ain't nobody picking from this bowl. Who you know still eat Tootsie Rolls? What kids you know eat Tootsie Rolls that even got a flavor? And what is a dot? What, what is that? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What the hell is that? What, what is a fruit chew? What the hell is a fruit? What is a fruit? Man, get your... Cut the porch light off. Cut the porch light off, cut the TV off, and go to bed. You grounded. You are a disgrace. I'd have dot you in your eye. What's wrong with you? Wasting my time. I only got a couple hours. That 30 seconds I can't get back. Hey. Hey, yeah, happy house. Oh, get back. You, you get your ass. Don't worry, he don't bite. Get your ass I'm back. Oh. Get that. Get that, doggy. Get it. Hey, no. Stop, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's okay. He's so cute. It's okay. Hey, hey, dog. Stop it! Stop it! Get 
Stop what? What? Stop what? 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 Hey, look, I completely get it. It's all good. I mean, who will remember? It comes by so fast. I mean, hey, it comes by every year on the same month, on the same day. But hey, it's easy to forget, right? You know what? Don't even worry about it. And forget the fact that your porch light was on. I got enough candy for tonight. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. You have a great night, sir. You a bold-faced liar. Halloween come every year on the same month, on the same day, and you didn't remember. I'm living around this neighborhood right now, and Halloween decorations on every porch, and you don't remember. They been advertising Halloween since August, and you don't remember. It's a bunch of kids walk around in costumes, and he don't remember. Do I look like I was born yesterday? That's Cap, and you know that's Cap. Look here, bro, I'm gonna tell you like this. Your porch light was on, it's Halloween, I'm expecting candy. If candy don't drop into this bucket in the next few seconds, it's gonna be an issue. And I put that on guard. Three, two, dang, hey, if you'd have came by two minutes early, I'd have had some for you. I ain't even got no candy left. I'd have ran out. Oh, okay, good night. Do what? What you mean you ain't got no more candy? Wait a minute, it's 7.30. How you run out of candy already? Now you knew it was Halloween. You know kids gonna be trick-treating all night and you ain't buying enough candy. All right, I'll tell you what, you ain't got no candy, huh? Oh, hey, what the hell? Hey, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> No, 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 okay. I found some candy. I found some candy. No, I'm right. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was about to Will Smith slap his ass. <laughs> Lucky he the pastor. Oh, you wild, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I... What the hell? What? Dad! Dad, you good? Why is it so hot? Up in here. Daddy! No, wake up, Daddy! Wake up! Look at you got them hands off here! What the hell wrong with you? What the? Dad, I thought you was dead or something. Why you laying on the floor? What? Well, hell no, I ain't dead. So why you laying on the floor like that? And big homie, hey, why I feel like we just walked into hell? Bro, shut up. You ain't hot? Anyway, my doctor told me I need to start exercising and eating right. Because Cause you getting old. Because I'm getting up in age. Up in age, my ass. He getting old. Put it. I throw the damn couch over there. Okay, 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 Dad. But the question is, why you laid out on the floor? What? Well, originally I got down here to do some push-ups and some sit-ups, and hell, I guess I fell asleep. Oh, see? See what? Old people do that. They just fall asleep on accident. God damn it, boy! Let me tell you something. You got one more time to call me old before I stuff you in that damn VCR. VCR? Dad, what is a VCR? What the hell are you talking about? You know what a damn VCR is? Over there by my record player. Record player? Don't play down with me. You know what a damn record player is? On top of my boombox. I'm gonna slap the hell out. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The damn boombox by the damn DVDs where the cassette tapes at. Uh. Dad, you sure you're all right? Am I all right? What, 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 what the hell you mean by that? Ain't nothing wrong with me, something wrong with you. You all right? You all right? Yeah, I'm straight. Walk in. The hell out my face. All right, Dad. Dang. Got time for this? Come on, bro. What I tell you, D? He old. Messing with my damn dreams. Megan and Stallion was about to give me a lap dance for you walked in. <sighs> hey, do you something wrong with your daddy, bro? <laughs> Trust me, bro. I know. Can't stand these kids. Talking about old. I ain't know what I'm experienced. Damn kids. Nobody old. Hey, but what you been up to, bro? I feel like I ain't seen you in a while. Hey, goddamn, I mean, y'all already know, you know what I'm saying, I've been in the lab, you know what I'm saying, just cooking up some heat, you know what I'm saying, like, the last single I dropped hit 100,000 screams, so, you know what I'm saying, like. You serious? I mean, goddamn, I ain't never been on the count. What? You feel me? Like, so. Bro, that's crazy. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I ain't saying I'm popping or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, but. You feel me? Like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it a band. You feel me? Like, nah, bro, for real. Congratulations, bro. That, that's dope. That's a lot of streams, bro. I mean, I mean, goddamn it, it ain't that many. You see what I'm saying? What? Yes, it is. You right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, come on. Like, at this point, I'm the best rapper in the world. Hands down. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I wouldn't say all that. I mean, I, just think about it, D. Who better than me, bro? For, like, for, I do this for real, for real, bro. Like, like, I'm your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. You feel me? So, like, who better than me? You see what I'm saying? 
James, you got like three songs, bro. But they all hits though, so it don't matter. <laughs> all right, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro, I really do this, bro. Like, I keep a studio in my back pocket, goddamn, just in case I got to drop bars on somebody. You feel me? <laughs> you a fool, bro. Oh, my God, man. Hey, goddamn, did somebody make a joke? Nah, I'm saying like... What the hell you... Where all this stuff come from? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I'm just saying like... You over there laughing. I'm trying to tell you I do this for real, for real. Like, this this really my life. Like, I really live by this life. You feel me? Like, I just told you, goddamn, I got 100,000 screens. You feel me? You over there, you know what I'm saying? Kiki, you know what I'm saying? Like, something funny. I ain't told no damn joke. You feel me? Like, like what, you want me to rap or something and prove to you that I'm the best in the world? No, bro, you ain't even got, I believe you. You ain't even got. Goddamn, they call me Big James. Because I'm the best in the world. These boys are so hot, I can take your girl. We go get some ice cream, I get a chocolate swirl. Anybody pull up, I hold them down like a twirl. Pow, pow, pull up at his place. <laughs> Better get up out my face before I hit him with the pepper spray. I can't have no weapon because my mama say I'm too young, but that's okay. I still put that thing to his face like Big Jane being the really good one. I can't get no damn sleep in my house. Well, I pay the bills, and let me tell you why. Cause my son and his non-rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, or his name is Big James. How about Big, I don't give a damn what your name is. How about that? Now, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, my son and his non-rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, are in here making all this damn racket, so I can't get no damn beauty sleep in my own house. Did this man just say beauty sleep? Like, come on, bro. All right, Dad, sorry. James was just rapping, that's all. You were doing what? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I've been on this earth over 40 years. And I can tell you right now, what I just heard coming through this damn door was not rap. It was crap. Hey, goddamn. <laughs> I ain't been out, you know what I'm saying? I know, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? It's your house. You feel me? But you gonna have to, goddamn, put some respect on my name. I don't know. I don't know if you heard. You see what I'm saying? I got 100,000 screens. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the best rappers alive. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You talking about, you talking about crap. You know what I'm saying? You better goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Watch your mouth. You feel me? If I, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, first of all, <laughs> I can guarantee the only thing I'm going to be watching is your body hit this damn flow if you don't watch who you talking to. Secondly, now, maybe my ears was deceiving me because they have a habit of doing that. But did you just say that you was one of the best rappers alive? I did, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, I, I stand by that, you feel me, like, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even one of the best rappers alive, <laughs> I'm a, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna keep it a stay, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm the best rapper on the planet, what planet, planet Earth, which Earth, the one we standing in right now, matter of fact, bro, I, Big James, am the bestest rapper to ever bless the globe, bro, matter of fact, y'all ought to be honored to be in my presence, you know what I'm saying, oh God, like, <laughs> boy, boy, you funny. You, you real my, funny. He's funny. Bad, hey, he's funny. Y'all just some haters, bro. Like, <laughs> look, look here. Look here, Big Lane. It'll be a cold day in hell before I hate on anything you got going on. <laughs> and secondly, let me tell you this. Hell been done froze over before they named you the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> well, Y'all lame, bro. Like... I'm leaving, bro. Y'all don't even deserve to be in the same space as me, bro. Like, hell, I ain't taking this, bro. Come on, bro. You ain't got to leave. It's not that serious. I ain't got to take this, bro. Like, I don't go. I let my hater be my motivator. You feel me? I don't got to. Nah, here. I'm going to save it. I'm an OG. Goddamn, I do this. <laughs> yeah, that made my day. <laughs> Talking about he the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> you ain't even the best rapper in this house. I rap better than you. Ain't that something? Oh, you must not know, you forgot my name. Let me remind you who I am. OG Big James, I'm the realest on the mic when I spit these flames. You think you tough, old man? You really just lame. On oh, guard, I'ma keep it a stack. You better watch your attitude before you really get smacked. I 
knock them damn glasses off your eyes And hit you with a two-piece, then you really be blind hey. Scaring people with that old ass belt But your breath so hot it make my eyebrows melt Everybody else scared to stand up to you Well, goddamn, if girl ain't gonna do it, I do it myself Hold up, now sucker, you don't know about me Cause I'm the real OG, big P.O.P. I pull the belt out and people get to flee in the scene Cause they know when I swing, it's gonna goddamn sting You a buster, living with your mama And everywhere you go, you just seem to bring drama You smell like ass and you look like a llama If you spit flames, then I guess I'll spit lava Cause I'm just hotter, I will if I gotta Turn you into a genius, stuff your ass in a bottle What you need is a good old fashioned beating from a father I punch you in the chest and fold your ass like a dollar You better watch your mouth when you're talking to a savage Two glocks full of bullets, you can get both rounds If you don't know me, you better ask somebody I'm the P.O.P. and I be holding it down Hold up, B. James, on God, no cap, straight up, don't tolerate disrespect I can call up the game real quick, they'll pull up and scoop your ass up like a fishing net You got everybody scared thinking that you tough, but B. James, I ain't even really stressing, no Cause I'ma keep it a hundred, I can't really be scared of somebody who first name is Hester, bro I'm about to really cook this man like a vegetable, you think you hard but you soft like a section, no I suggest you take a seat for your knees give out, cause you know that your bones ain't that flexible Cause you old, you old. and you know this you know Your ass is old as Moses And you got four eyes and you still can't focus On the fact that I floated on this beat like the ocean I might be old but my rhyme's still cold Even when I hit a hundred I'ma still be dope These bones made a gold bomb in beast mode Tell you what, since you're broke, I'ma give you free smoke You ain't even on my level, you a waste of my time How you call yourself a rapper and you getting out rhyme By four-eyed old man and I ain't even trying I be the Big James, your career done died Boy, I been an OG since before you was around Big James ain't nothing more than a bitch for your mind, I will go and check the lost and found Cause you forgot I'm the real big papa and I hold it down Whatever, bro Yeah, that's right, whatever I mean, either way, like I still won What? So Boy, you a damn lie D, D, tell the truth, I won, right? Uh Hell no, son, tell the truth He ain't win a goddamn thing I obliterated his ass, didn't I? I mean, y'all both did, bro. Oh God, bro, you old as dirt, bro. You can't rap, you garbage. Hold up, now wait a minute. Now you got damn giraffe neck, bobber head, cockroach looking, tight ass headband wearing, can't rap worth a damn little skinny beetle. Let me tell you something. I, I don't give a damn I who I you think you are. You need to say like, you might you be are in my house. And I will put this guy in my house. Up your ass. Do you understand? You understand it? It? I don't know who the hell you think you are. I don't know who the hell you think you are. But you in my house. Y'all saying so? I just want to say it to my pistol. Where my damn pistol at? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. How about this? How about? We let the people decide. I tell you what, how about we let the people decide? That's what I just said. You just said what? Like I said, he owed. You know what? I, I don't have it with your ass today. I don't have it with your ass. Get your daddy, D. You Get into it, yo. Get into it, yo. I went into it. Hey, Dad, hold up real quick before you leave. Uh oh. Nope. Absolutely not. What you mean? No, you can't borrow no money. No, you can't spend a night over there. No, they can't spend a night over here. No, you can't get no damn dog. Whatever you about to ask me, save it. Cause the answer is hell no. No, dad, that's not what I wanted. I actually wanted to wish you happy Father's Day. What? B boy, Father's Day ain't till next week. Well, yeah, I know that, but I wanted to give you your gifts early. Gifts? Yeah, dad, I got you some gifts. Oh. Well, okay then. All right, dad, ready? All right. So this is the first one right here, all right? Ready? Boom! Oh, suck it, suck it. I like that right there. Yeah, not that for real. If you like this one, wait till you see the next one. All right, ready? Oh, what now? Bow! Okay, what well, is Pops the goat. Who the hell are you calling the goat? You damn giraffe neck looking. No, that goat stands for greatest of all time. Oh, my bad. Don't get slapped around here now. Better watch yourself. <laughs> anyway. Now check this one out, Dad. Bam! What did they say right there? Pops. Another term for father, dad, old man, or superhero. See also, go OG legend, you're damn skipping. But where you getting these little funky shirts from? Oh, these are part of our new Father's Day merch collection on shopmazemerch.com. Available now, actually. Hit that, try it on. Well, don't mind if I do. I think I'm, I'm gonna do this one right here. I'm gonna do this. Now, son, you know I ain't want to toot my own horn, too, dude. <laughs> but I am the greatest of all time, am I right? <laughs> Right. What was that? I said you absolutely right. That's what I thought. Thank you, son. 
I like this right here. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear this all day. And I tell you what, boss man better not say nothing to me unless he's trying to get <clears throat> slept around here. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, you know what? I don't want nobody to even talk to me today. I'm the GOAT. I'm the real OG. I'm the legend. I am royalty. Now, who you talking to? Oh, Daryl! Make yourself useful in summoning my royal peasants so that I may use them as a footstool. What? Silence! You do not deserve to breathe the air that I breathe. Uh, man, it's too early for this, bro. What? I know this man at... Come on, bro. Why is this man standing outside the door like that? We're not even open yet, bro. Can't stand customers like that. What they be doing? Camping outside the store or something? Already? What time is it? What time? Dang, man. I... Oh well. Guess I'll just have to sleep here until they open. To set my alarm all right so i know they open at eight so i guess i'll just set my alarms to nothing crazy let's just do 6 30 all the way to eight o'clock ah, there we go Ready to go home already. I don't even What the hell? Good morning, how you doing? Hey! Man, how the hell you Well you know what? Since you asking, I'm ready to go. I don't really give a damn. Let me get a sausage biscuit. Uh add egg and cheese on that. Let me also get a side of grits. Let me get some hash browns. Let me ooh, let me get another sausage biscuit if you got it. And let me get a cup of orange juice. And make it snappy, will you? I ain't got it all day. All right, sir, so let me get this straight. You said you want six cheeseburgers, no cheese, which is really just six hamburgers. Then you said no, you want- No, 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 I said six cheeseburgers, no cheese. What the hell is you? If you get a cheeseburger with no cheese, it's just a hip. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You said you want six cheeseburgers, no cheese, which don't make no damn sense. Six large fries, four Diet Cokes, and eight apple pies. You want separate bags or you- What I need separate bags for? But I mean, I wasn't sure how many people you was ordering for, so I ain't know. Yeah, you mean how many people? I'm ordering for myself. What, you calling me greedy or something? Come on, man. I'm ready to go home, oh, bro. No, sir. Please pull up to the first window. Oh, okay. Don't make me come in there. Dang. I ain't know. Thought you was ordering for a party or something. Your ass gonna be on the toilet. Yeah, how can I help you? A few moments later. All right, bro. The total is 4528. Oh no the hell it ain't. Hold up now. Hold on. I got some coupons for you. Yep. My meal should be free. Here you go. Give me the damn coupon. Wait no da Big bro, two things. One, we can only accept one coupon per customer. Which is cheap ass. And second, I don't know if you know or not. These coupons expired in 2004. It's 2022. Let me speak to your manager. Oh, hell no, nah, that is some bull. I just got them coupons yesterday. You talking about they expired. I just got them. See, you know, the problem is, you don't know what you're doing because you're stupid. You're stupid, and I promise you, you won't have a job tomorrow. Let me speak to your manager. They just give jobs to any damn body talking about my coupons expired. Expired my ass. All right, sir, here's your order. You have a great day. Yes, sir, you too. I appreciate it. Uh-uh, what? Is there a problem? Wait a minute, I know you... What? What is this? It's a hamburger. Exactly, and what did I order? You ordered a hamburger. No, I ordered a hamburger, no burger. A what? A hamburger, no burger? What? That, that's just bread. Fool, I'm a vegetarian, I can't eat this. What, you trying to kill me or something? Am I trying to... What? Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, uh-uh, hold up, wait a minute. What the hell is this? You asked for a large fry. Exactly, a large fry, not multiple little fries. What? 
I know you ain't just at me. I, I tell you what, you know what? I'm disappointed in your service. I'm disappointed and I just want you to know I'm about to leave one hell of a review. If I were you, I'd start looking for another job. Oh, your ass is in trouble. Employee named Daryl is disrespectful, incompetent, and doesn't know how to follow directions. I demand that he be fired immediately. Taking less L's, making more M's. I didn't do that. Now she acting like she you <laughs> Hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hey, my name is Daryl. Welcome to McDonald's. I Later that same evening. What? Mr. Mays, can you hear me? What? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh see, that's because you got two busted eardrums. I got what? Uh-huh. That's right. So, unfortunately, we gonna have to cut your ears off. <laughs> How can I help you? Yeah, we just having a little teeny tiny get together for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get some food for that. How can I help you? All right, man. Let me get all I got. Um, let me get 4,000 cheeseburgers, 3,000 large fries, 2,000 chicken sandwiches, and let me get 6,000 cups of Sprite. Whoo! Hey, I'm letting y'all know right now, this is my last order before I go on break, all right? So let's go ahead and knock this thing out, all right? Yo, let's... How can I help you? Yeah, let me get a hamburger. All right, what you want on it? Uh, yeah, let me get ketchup, lettuce, Oreo cookie pieces, toenail clippings, uh, cotton candy. What the hell is it? This ain't no basket robbers. Um, grape jelly. We don't usually put those kind of toppings on our burgers. Well, good thing I didn't ask you what you usually did. Now, did I? You asked me what I want, damn it. I'm telling you what I want. Now, let me get M&M's, scrambled eggs, Brown rice, let me get- what, Bro, we don't even sell those items! I don't give a damn! Go find it! That's your job, ain't it? I want some oatmeal, some banana pudding, some lobster tails, hot Cheetos, glazed donuts, some Takis, chocolate chip cookies, some sardines- Welcome to McDonald's, what the hell you want? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, let me just get, uh... Number seven, no cheese, but I want bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, no bottom bun, let me also get a large fry, but don't fry it in grease, I want you to fry it in Kool-Aid, let me get a cheeseburger, let me get a Big Mac, let me get a chicken sandwich, no chicken, give me the pickle, we'll take it off and put it back on there, let me get a waffle, let me get a- I can't even, I don't even know what you- Appreciate that. Can you say it again, but 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 slower this time so I can actually hear you? Damn it, I just did say it slow. How much slower can I get? A whole bunch? Well, you need to listen quicker. I'ma say it one more time, and I ain't gonna say it no more. Let me get. Number seven, no cheese, but I'm gonna bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, no bottom bun. Let me also get a large fry, but don't fry it in grease. I want you to fry it in Kool-Aid. Let me get a cheeseburger, let me get a Big Mac. Let me get a chicken sandwich, no chicken, give me the pickle, we'll take it off, put it back on there. Let me get a waffle, let me get a McGriddle, let me get a waffle. Matter of fact, let me get two waffles, gotta be fatty, large fry. I appreciate that. Look, you you gonna have to say it again, cause I ain't get none of that. I ain't hear not a single word you just said. Fool, is you deaf? Hell no, nah, I ain't say it again. What's wrong with your ears? Is you stupid or something? You talking too damn fast! How am I supposed to? All right, let me tell you what I heard. You said you want a McChicken. Man, what you the said hell? You... I ain't say nothing about no McChicken. I want to speak to somebody else, cause you you stupid. You stupid and you don't know what you're doing. That's just how anybody nowadays, don't they? I done said the same word about five thousand times and you still can't hear me. You need to get your damn ears checked. That's what you need to do, cause you can't hear. Need to learn how to listen. All right, bro. Total is 1374. You paying with cash or card? I'm paying cash. All right. Is there an issue? Yes, there is. I think you missed my hand. Oh, no, I didn't. I chose not to put it there because I want to make you work even harder. Go pick it up. That's your job, ain't it? Pick it up. Chop, chop, get to it. Pick it up. You get paid to do that. <sighs> All right, bro, here go your food. You have a good day. All right, bet. Um, hold up, hold on. Let me make some room real quick. Um, hey, bro, you mind throwing some stuff away for me? Nah, we, we can't do that. That's against company policy. We can't take trash through the window. Have a good day. Oh, for real, y'all can't? Okay. All right, bet. Uh, let me just, hold up, hold on. Give me a second. What? Come on. Bro, I got, I got a 
gotta clean that up. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, let me get a goddamn... Let me get a, uh... Let me... Y'all need to make these words bigger. Let me get a, uh... I got it. Let me get. Damn, I just had it. Y'all got too many options up here. I, I am confused. I don't know. I would get a cheeseburger, but I'm lactose intolerant. I would get a milkshake, but again, I'm lactose intolerant. My ass will explode. Any recommendations? Welcome to McDonald's. What it is? Yeah, let me get four cheeseburgers, six Big Macs, four large fries, and. I need something healthy. Uh, two Diet Cokes. All right, your total is 15. And two chocolate chip cookies. All right, your new total is 17. And an apple pie. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. All right, your last total is 20. Matter of fact, make it three apple pies. Man, God damn it, your total is 24.97. Pull around to the first window. All right, bet. Make up your mind, man. Damn, customers aggravate me. A few moments later. Here you go. Have a good day. Actually, uh, you know what? Is it too late to change my order? Well, I mean, we did already make it, so technically, you know, you know I just realized? Of course I can change it. What am I asking you for? I'm paying you. Technically, you work for me. <laughs> no, the hell I don't. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Yeah, go ahead and scratch the whole order. Let me just get two meat chickens and a large fry. We already... All right. Let me go tell them. Oh, and add a cookie. And an apple pie. That's it. Make up your damn mind. Hey, bro, he said he want to scrap the whole order. He just want two McChickens, a large fry, a cookie, and an apple pie. Man, damn. I wish you'd have said that before I cooked it. He going to have to wait. Tell him to put it around the front. He going to have to wait. Hey, bro, bro, do me a favor. Pull up to the front real quick. What the hell I need to pull up to the front for? What's up there? Well, since your indecisive ass decided to change your order last minute, we got to cook it again. So the line going to be backed up. So you got to pull around front and I bring it to you. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. I ain't going nowhere. I want my food. If you don't get your... Bro, j just pull up to the front, bro, and I'll bring your food up there. Give me two seconds, bro. Give me two seconds. I'll meet you right up there. All right? Don't make me go off right here because I will go off. What's wrong with these people, man? I know he better watch who he raising his voice, man. More moments later. All right, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. One, two, where the hell he at? Where's my food? You know what, I don't have about it, I don't have about enough. I don't have enough. Excuse me? Where's my food? What the hell? Bro, why are you in here? I literally just told you I was gonna bring it to you. And how long ago was that? I'm starving over here. Like 15 seconds ago. Exactly, you told me two seconds. Where is my food? Bro, we have to cook it. It's not ready yet. Damn it, you listen to me and you listen good. Either you gonna give me my food right now, or I'm gonna take that cash register and I'm gonna bust you upside your damn head. This don't make no sense. Man, this is absolutely ridiculous. I've been waiting on my food now for about two minutes. Is it fast food or is it slow food? Which one is it? Because I'm confused. Get it together. All right, brother. Here your food and here your drink. You have a good day. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. I'll take care of it. Oh, I know you will. That's why they pay you, right? I wasn't gonna clean it up. <laughs> get to it. Oh, and um, if I were you, I would get to it quickly because the floor is getting kind of sticky. Whew, boy, it's closing time. I'm ready to go home, boy. I... Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, let me get a burger real quick. Hey, nah, big homie. Hey, we closed. Come back tomorrow. The signs say 11. It's only 10.59. You said... Huh. 
You know what? You're absolutely right. It's only 10.59. Right, so I still got one minute. It is 10.59. It is 10.59. That's 1.059. Come on, man, what you doing? All right, all right, all right. Let me just get my keys out of my pocket. Let me just grab my keys. Come on, keys, wait it. Let me just grab my keys so I can open the door for you. All right, let's go my key. Oh, would you look at that? It's 11 o'clock. Damn, looks like we closed. I guess you got to come back tomorrow. Damn. Oh, well, I won't be here tomorrow because I'm off, but good night. Later that same evening. Man, I can't wait to go. What the hell? Hey, bro, you good? I. <laughs> With these customers, man. These customers crazy. What's the loss of them? Hey, man. Leave me alone, man. What you want? What you? You. Man, no, you can't have it. That's mine. All right, okay, okay, okay. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Hey, man. wrong with these customers? I quit. I ain't going back. I quit. Bro, you busy? I mean, yeah, right now, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, forget all that. Hey, bro, you remember Purple Kitty 52? Wait a minute, you said, do I remember who? I said Purple Kitty 52. Bro, you remember Purple Kitty 52? Purple Kitty What the hell? Who is that? Bro, you remember? Bro, remember he challenged us on Call of Duty that one time? Okay, yeah, what about him? Bro, on guard, bro, he just challenged us to Fortnite, bro. He said he'll wipe out our whole squad, so you already know I was like, all right, bet. Let me get my boy D on here, because we stay ready. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I'm kind of... I'm kind of busy right now. Busy doing what? Well, I mean, I, I was about to take a bath. Busy doing what? D, bro, listen, he said if we win, he'll give us $1,000. A thousand dollars? Yes, bro, that's what I'm saying. Think about how many bottles of bubble wrap you can buy with a thousand dollars. Your ass gonna be fresh. Okay, okay, okay. And what if we lose, then what? I mean, you know what I'm saying? If we lose, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta pay him a thousand dollars. But, 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 kind of... but, but. We, we ain't gonna lose. You, you know we ain't gonna lose. I was just about to relax. D, bro, come on, bro. This is easy money, D. This is easy money, bro. Come on. I mean, it's a thousand dollars. At least do it for me, bro. I need the money. I gotta pay my baby mama tomorrow, and I ain't even got the money. Come on, bro. Please, bro. Come on, D. All right, all right. Okay, let's just make this quick. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. I, I bet. Hey, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. You jump in when you're ready. All right. Yeah, so we about to get paid, boy. Can't do nothing. I mean, bubbles going away. I'll be back. Can't do nothing. A few moments later. Do you have aches and pains? Are you tired of your farts smelling like gasoline? Well, try our medicine. Simple and Fecalorica Pexalide. Simple and Fecalorica Pexalide is good for all ages. Now, there's no guarantee it's going to work. I 
to hear that right now. But it might. And, 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 and that's enough. Are you still looking for the perfect gift for the holiday season? Because if so, look no further hey, than... Say hello to my little blaster. Oh, oh it's like that? Oh, oh, all right. Oh, all right, okay, all right. But like I was saying, look no further than the Gel Blaster Surge XL. Now, Gel Blasters blast jellies. Which are these little water balls right here. And basically what happens is they explode, they burst, and they evaporate. So they're environmentally friendly. Oh, safety first. And by the way, not only that, this thing got three blasting modes. It got fully automatic, it got three shot bursts, and it got semi-automatic. These right here are called tips and fins. You can change these out depending on what team you want. So I can be team green and you can be team red. And what's dope about this, y'all, is this thing come with a battery built on the inside. So all you gotta do is plug it up and charge it just like you charge your phone. All right, y'all, now if you excuse me, I got business to take care of. <laughs> And family, y'all know I gotta look out, so you can use my code right now, Daryl10, to get 10% off the Gel Blaster Surge XL. Click the link in my description box to shop now, alright? Like I said, y'all, the Gel Blaster Surge XL is the gift of the holiday season, alright? Pick you. Where's my money, John? I need to give me one of them. <laughs> I don't have your freaking money, Rufus. Well, buddy, let me tell you something. You better find it before, before you do what, Rufus? Sleep. And what do you think you doing? I was just about to play the game. <laughs> not before you clean up that room. Dad, I cleaned my room this morning. Well, not before you take out that trash. I already took the trash out. <laughs> okay, so you a smart aleck. Okay. Well, not before you wash out them dishes. Dad, I washed the dishes already too. Okay, well. Not before you- I already done vacuumed, I done mopped, I done scrubbed the ceilings, I done cleaned the bathroom. Matter of fact, I made you dinner so that when you get hungry, you ain't even gotta cook nothing. All you gotta do is warm it up. And I can do that for you if you want. Okay, okay, well, uh, well, I bet you yes, did that. I already did the laundry too. Oh, and by the way, here's your receipt. I paid the rent for you. Uh, <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but, 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 you, you are, uh, you grounded. What? For what? Because, 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 ooh, ooh, I, I got a good reason. Man, Dad, you don't even have a reason, man. You just want to be difficult for nothing, man. Dad, go right there. See, see, that's why. Because, 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 because I don't like your attitude. That's why you're grounded. Mm-hmm. Now, I tell you what. You, you cut off this TV, and you go to your room. And that's not even fair, man. Life ain't fair. Deal with it. Keep this. I'm the parent. Dang, man. Can't do nothing. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. D, where's you at, bro? We getting swell. Bro, bro, I can't even jump on because Pops just grounded me. Man, what? D, come on, bro. We need your help, bro. My team is sorry. I'm the last one on. What? Man, damn. Hello. Man. I ain't got that kind of money. Man, the next time I see you, I'm going to knock the hell out you, bro. Bro, it's not even my. No, it's on with you, man. Call my phone. Can't do nothing. Let me go drain this water out. I ain't even drink nothing. Hey. Dad! Thank you, son. I definitely needed this. That was gonna be my... That was...
just thinking about it. Damn! Dad, what's the problem? I left my dog on wallet in the car. Oh. I mean, you and me go get it? Hell no, nah, I don't know you like that. Listen, you stay here, I go get it. Last time you went and got my wallet, twenty dollars came on missing. What, Dad, that's cause you gave it to me to give to a homeless man on the corner. I did what, boy? When have you ever known me to give free money away to anybody? The devil is a lie. You stole it, and you know that. Hell, you had to be dreaming. And I sure don't remember that. Well, you seem to be forgetting a lot of things lately, so. But well, what the hell you say? I'll drop kick your ass in here. Dad, I'm just saying. Well, just saying, gonna get you just hurt. Now you wait here. I'm gonna go get my wallet. Wait, Dad, what if I get to the counter before you get back? I ain't bring no money with me. Well, look at the line. That line ain't going nowhere. And if you do get up there, just um, give me um, give me the classic chicken and waffles and 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 some orange juice. Not the spicy, cause the spicy gonna put me on the toilet. Give me the classic chicken and waffles and some orange juice. I'll be back in time to pay the man. To do the hell I tell you to do. All right. Tell my you ain't bring no money with you. You mean you ain't got no money? With your broke ass. <sighs> well, at least the line moving slow. That's a good thing. You know what? I just realized I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go. My wife is having her baby. Oh man, I got a boo boo like hell. You know what? I don't have a reason. I just feel like walking away. Give me where the hell is you go? Um. Uh, next. <laughs> What's up, man? How can I help you? Yeah. Um. Uh, let me get two chicken and waffles and two orange juices. All right, whatever. Is that all? Uh. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. All right. That'll be eighteen oh nine. You said what? What'd you say? I said your total is eighteen oh nine. Oh! <laughs> okay, bet! <laughs> so! Uh, I mean, how's your day going? You know what I'm saying? Long. Oh! <laughs> yep. How about this weather? Right? It's hot! Yup. <laughs> yup. 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 It's that time of year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, bro. Manager, I'm about to smack the hell out of this man with this register on guard, bro. What you mean? Bro, you doing all that goddamn talking, bro. The like, I was supposed to go on break 15 minutes ago, bro. The total is 1809. Do you or do you not have the money? See, the funny thing is, um, I ain't got it. My daddy got it, but he left his wallet in the car, so he went to go get it. You know what I'm saying? He should be coming, though. Um, I gotta take a doo doo and you hold up my line, bro. First of all, you ain't gotta tell me that. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then secondly, what you mean holding up your line? Ain't nobody even... Oh, damn. Hey, bro, uh, you gonna have to step out of the line, cuz. No! I mean, nah. See, my daddy crazy. And so, if I step out of line after he told me to wait here, he gonna have a whole fit in this restaurant. Oh, dang, for real? Yeah, for real. I don't give a damn! Ain't nobody scared of your daddy! Come on, bro. Just, just give me like 10 seconds. I, I, I promise you he's coming. And like, just I give me what? Your elder is speaking on to you. You see the water right here somewhere. Shut up, old man. Oh, oh man. That's why you got a big head. What damn it? That's why Santa Claus ain't real. Santa Claus ain't real. The Easter Bunny ain't real. The Tooth Fairy ain't real. But you know who is real? The Boogeyman. And he gonna get your little ass tonight. So if I was you, I wouldn't fall asleep. Yeah, whatever. Wrong home, you little sissy. The hell am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Where is my wallet? <laughs> what about like 45 seconds? Break it out my line! <sighs> Alright. Next! <laughs> there! Hey, there! Get him one! You ain't gonna believe this. Guess my wallet was the whole time. In my back pocket. Hey. That's crazy! Ain't that crazy? I walked around this whole damn block looking for the day. Looking for. Look. Here, oh, Daryl! Daryl! Please tell me you found some.
some money somewhere and you are ready to pay for our food. Uh, nah, so he, um, he told me you had a line. See, see, so I, see, but, 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 I told you to stay in line. Yeah, and, uh, that's what I told him. But uh, he said I was holding up his line and told me to step aside. So, <clears throat> excuse me, sir. Yes, my son was holding our place in line while I went to the car to get my wallet. Okay, and? What the hell you? <laughs> and I'm back now. Okay, and? Okay, and? So that means we get to come back to the front of the line, correct? You. <laughs> nah, cuz you tripping. You gotta go to the back of the line just like everybody else, bro. The back of the line? What the hell did you talking about the back? Is there an issue? Is it? Boy, you about to make... Oh, Lord. Somebody call the police. <laughs> he about to make me buzz in it. I tell you what. I will see to it personally that you lose your job. You. <laughs> what you gonna do? Talk to my manager? I don't care. Talk to... The... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what kind of person does he think I am? <laughs> well, would you look at that there? The line seems to have disappeared. Hey, you set the whole building on fire. Well, shut your mouth. Don't nobody even know that. Get your ass in the car. All right. Snitch. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. I wonder what happened. Hi there, son of mine. Whatsoever are you doing? Why, hello, father. I'm just sitting here editing an exclusive video for my Patreon family. So tell me, what kind of things can you find on this Patreon? Well, dad, that's a great question. One of the things that Patreon members get is they get 24 hour early access to all videos. So as a matter of fact, this video here actually went up yesterday on Patreon. So they've already seen the video, liked it first, and left the first couple of comments. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Hold up. What else can you expect on this Patreon? Patreon members also get bloopers from every video and exclusive behind the scenes like Q and A's and stuff like that. They also get gaming videos. So we play games like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. We might play Apex, we might play Fortnite. You know, just a lot of different things. As a matter of fact, I just dropped the Little Nightmares gameplay on there a couple days ago. Oh, and they also get exclusive content that can't be seen anywhere else like reaction videos. I might do a house tour. I might do my shoe collection. You know, just all kind of exclusive content like that. That sounds great. How can I be this? Patreon. Uh, <laughs> Dad, I think you mean, how can you join the Patreon? Well, who the hell is you correcting? I knocked the hell out. Uh, I mean, yes. How can I join this Patreon? <clears throat> well, <laughs> that's super simple, Father. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and join the Patreon family today. Okay, great. I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, Dad, I'll see you later. Hold the hell on, where my $10 at? What? Dad, can we at least finish it first? All right. I better get my ten. If I don't get my ten dollars, you sleeping on the street. All right, Dad, I got you. Don't play with my money now. I swear to God, you mess around and get hurt. <laughs> Join the Patreon family today. Enjoy the video. I ain't gonna cap. I'm a little scared. Probably should have thought about. Excuse me, sir. Else. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Hell, I'm in and out. Oh Lord, please Jesus, please Jesus, don't let him kill me. Hey man! Excuse me, sir. Who's your internet provider? You say what? Yes, sir. I was asking you, who do you have internet with at home? Um. Uh, you know what? I already got Spectrum, so you know what I'm saying. Oh. Okay. Well, um, sir, you have a great day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Damn, weirdo. What the wrong with people, man?
later that same evening. Oh, yo, slide on him, slide on him, yo, 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 what's happening? Yo, come on, bro, my game is lagging like crazy right now, bro. This don't make no sense, man, see this why? Who's that? Daryl. You know what's funny? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> earlier I asked you, I said, um, <laughs> who do you have internet service with at home? <laughs> and, um, what did you tell me? Uh, I, I don't exactly remember. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was so long ago. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you told me you had Spectram. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you want to know the craziest part? <laughs> that don't, um... <laughs> that don't look like Spectram. It... <laughs> so, um... Basically... <laughs> you lied to me. What? You think I... No, come, come on, bro. We, come on. You, th you think I lied to you? Like, I, I mean, really? You... Oh. Damn. And where the hell you think you going? Uh, nowhere. I, I would, I, uh, I was just making sure I, I had locked the door, but... I see you got that covered, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go back uh, to where I was. Yeah. Damn. Come on. Why would you lie to me? I mean, you said it yourself, right? Your internet is laggy. How the hell you know? Another question for you. Why won't you let me help you? Don't you want to be a satisfied customer? Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty satisfied where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I, mean, I mean, I don't need to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, it be laggy sometimes, but I mean, it ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Daryl, we can offer you better service. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you can, but, you know, it's also more expensive service. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Okay. But wouldn't it be worth it? If you didn't have to experience any more lag? Not if I ain't got no more damn money. You... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you think you actually had a choice. What you mean? Hey man, what the So, you wanna open an account with us? Man, hell no! Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, yeah, I, I, uh, I do wanna do that. Great, it's already been done. What, from this day forward? Your bill will go from $50 a month to $15,000 a month, Wait. which cannot be canceled. Any questions? Yeah, uh, can we talk about this? No oh. questions? Great, thank you so much, sir, for your business. Now get your line ass in my office. I don't think I got no money. I, I, <laughs> What's 
What's going on, man? Welcome to Chicken City. My name is Kenny. How can I serve you? Okay. Um, well, this is my first time here, so what kind of food y'all got? We got everything you could possibly want. We got hamburgers. We got chicken. We got hot dogs. We got steak. We got oxtails. We got chitlins. We got pig feet. We got chicken liver. We got raccoon liver. We got rotisserie possum. We got deep fried cockroaches. We got dog paws. As a matter of fact, the special for today is barbecue horse hearts. What the? Horse hearts? Yes, sir. You heard me correctly. <laughs> Horse hearts. What the hell kind of menu? You know what? Uh, how, how's the chicken? Sir, I can assure you that all our chicken is made fresh. All right, let me just let me just get a chicken sandwich. Yes, sir, and you want that crispy or grilled? I'll take it crispy. Yes, sir, that's no problem. I need one hot crispy bird on two slices. Is that gonna be all? Yeah, that's all. All right, sir, your total is gonna be 865. All right. By the way, when you say the chicken is fresh, what exactly do you mean? <laughs> you stick your ass back in your damn kitchen. Stick your, stick your ass there. <laughs> Stupid ass bird. You stick your, you stick your ass there. Where the hell you think you're going? Cash or card? Uh, you know what? I'm good. Um, I'm pretty sure I just witnessed the murder. Um, so I ain't really got no appetite no more. Wait, but what about your chicken sandwich? Well, I mean, I hey, goddamn, if you don't want it, give it to me. I eat it with my horse hearts. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna just wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Y'all ain't really back there chopping up the horses, are you? Uh, well. I <laughs> And where the hell you think you going? You get your delicious ass back here. Oh! Hello, 911. Y'all yeah, gonna need y'all to come on down here to Chicken City and lock these folks up. I just witnessed two murders. Bro, I'm not even lying, bro. I dunked on that man in Chicken City, bro. I, like, I wasn't even trying, bro. I was just whoop, whoop, whoop. Bro, the whole gym just went crazy, bro. All right, class. Oh, Getting you down now. Sit me down. Sit down now before I kick somebody's ass right here. Cindy! Cindy, wait. Here you go. Get your ass right here. I got up there like Jordan, bro. Like, I was just... I had this hung in thing, bro. I was up there. Boom, boy. I was, bro. I was really up there. All right, Jonathan. I ain't know I ain't know I had hops like that. Didn't have, didn't have. Don't you help me listen? I just said you being too loud. Why are you yelling, Mr. Johnson? Is you deaf? Legally, I am. I hate this damn class. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Now, here are your tests back. Congratulations. Every last one of you is stupid. Who the hell are you talking about? And you are a disgrace to humanity. Your mama. Your parents ought to be ashamed. My parents been ashamed. They ain't nothing new. You want to know what I find funny? <laughs> Everybody got something to say. But you know something? Ask me this since you want to talk so damn much. How the hell did everybody fail? You do a badass thing. Huh? Rufus? Just because you got the name of a dog, don't mean they got to think like one. Because I slap your ass. Sydney? Spelling your own damn name wrong. Are you serious, Sydney? The whole damn class failed. Every single last one of you are failures. And you're not going to amount to a goddamn thing. And you can tell your mama I said it. Why are you yelling? I thought this damn death. Anyway, seeing as though none of you are worth a damn. I'm worth a damn. I was able to not only beg for my job back, but I was able to get you heathens a second chance. Ooh. You're welcome. The retake will be on Friday. If you fail, I get fired. I'm a fair And guess what? If I get fired, I can promise you this. I will bust every single last one of you little snotty nose dummies right in your damn lip. I'ma sue your ass. Am I clear? I swear to God, Marcus, I've been wanting like hell. Finally, man. Oh, that's the bell. Okay, everybody out. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Leave me to weep in peace. Dang, man. I can't take this back home to Pop. I already know what he gonna say. I can hear him now. F? How the hell you get an F? You know what? F is right, because I'm about to put my foot up your ass. And Bobby, you 
keep your big ass out that lunchroom. Lunch ain't till 12.30. You know what? I'm gonna make him proud. I'm gonna study really hard. Harder than I ever have before. And not only am I gonna get an A, I'm gonna get 100%. And I put that on God. I mean that. Hey, little boy. Excuse me. Yes. I can't leave till you leave, so I'm gonna need you to remove yourself. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you watch, Mr. Johnson. I'm gonna make you proud. You watch. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm gonna I'm win the lottery. And I'm gonna become a Badirian Contrillionaire. Damn, my classroom. Come on, you, you ain't got an F on every test. These damn kids, boy. How, this is how black people be getting killed in the movies, bro. God, please don't let this man be crazy. Make no damn sense. It's always something with black folk, man. Make no damn sense. Why the hell are we in the middle of the woods anyway? Hey, bro, you ready? Hey, cuz, I'm gonna use my government name out here. What the hell wrong with you? All right, my bad. Hey, cuz. <laughs> Bro, what is you saying? What the I'm talking in cold, cuz. What the hell are you talking in cold for? I ain't goddamn. I don't know who listening. For all I know, you could be wearing a wire. What the hell? Bro, I'm not buying drugs. I'm buying shoes. Who and why would they be listening? Hey, cuz, hold up, bro. You don't know what I had to do to get these right here. These are 1975, Air Jordan, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Nike Air Max Dunk 2000s. I put my life on the line for these. I die for this, cuz. 
you would die for some shoes. Cause I die for these shoes. Ride for these shoes. Put up a slide for these shoes. Do prison time for these shoes, cuz. You stole them shoes, didn't you? I plead the fifth. All right, bro. All right, all right. Just, just give me the shoes, bro. Hey, hold up, cuz. Where my $500 at? F $500? You told me 325. Oh, that was before the delivery fee. Delivery fee? Hell yeah, delivery fee. I had to bring them to you, didn't I? Man, your damn delivery fee is $175. Hey, goddamn, I know you've been seeing them gas prices. Gas getting expensive. Where you live at? All in right down. Hey, cuz, don't worry about that. Do you or do you not want your shoes, cuz? All right, bruh. Dang, man. I bet. Here, bruh. All right. Woo-wee! Yes, sir! Woo! All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Cole, what you doing? What the hell, bro? I'm trying to see the shoes. What you mean? Man, you open them out here? Wh why not? Because they could be watching. Who could be watching? The people. What people? Them people. All right, bro. All right, I had enough of this. I'll look at them when I get home. Damn. Yeah, you do that. Hey, bro, how'd I get back to the... That's my cue to go. Here, yeah, wrong with people, man. Make no damn sense. That's why I stay in the house. That's why I don't go outside now, cause people. What the hell? All right. I got my eyes on you. This nigga crazy. Oh hell no. I don't play like that. Oh hell no. Money, money, money! A few moments later. What the? Here wrong with the damn remote? Hey, Dad, guess what? You got a job. No? You moving out of my house? Nuh uh. Megan is staying and I saw waiting on me. Uh. No? Oh, hell, boy, you ain't talking about nothing. Dad, listen, in this box, I got something amazing. Well, damn it, if it ain't money, I don't want it. No, Dad, this is better than money. I got the 1975 Air Jordan, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Nike, Air Max, Dunk 2000s. You lying. Dad, I swear. Stop playing. Dad, I'm dead serious. You really got them? Yes, Dad, I really got them. <gasps> I don't give a damn. I don't even know what the hell that is. What, Dad, these are the best shoes known to man. They cost me $500. $500? What the hell it come with? An extra foot? What? No, Dad, look, okay, okay, let me show you, let me show you. Alright. <laughs> Is you great? This boy done lost his damn mind. You don't spend $500 on some damn tennis pumps? <laughs> Dad, what is a titty pump? Dur, 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 now is not the time to be a smart ass. I'm three seconds away from punching a damn hole in your chest. Dad, look, I promise you it's gonna be worth it, okay? All right, all right. You, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> well? Dad, man, this ain't even funny, <laughs> man. <laughs> you, you're right, you're right. It ain't funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> you, you, you spent five hundred dollars on some bricks. <laughs> I could have got you somebody out the backyard. <laughs> Dad, this is not funny, man. <laughs> you, you're right. I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. <laughs> Get it? Go bricks is hard. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Ooh, I'm done. I'm done. Ooh, ooh, tough crowd tonight, boy. Feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done. I'm, I'm done for real. I'm done. I'm done for Thank real. Thank you. Ooh. I ain't even get my money back, man. <laughs> but son, 
Listen here. I can guarantee you one thing. You gonna be the freshest on the block. <laughs> that was a good one. That was <laughs> running away. <laughs> oh, come on, son. Come on, son. I'm just playing with you. Don't be such a square. <laughs> You the king. And what about everybody else? They your peasants. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus' name. Amen. Leave it out. Same time tomorrow? You already know it. All right. Dad, what you doing? First and foremost, what I do and when I do what I do is none of your business or concern. Let's get that straightened out right now. Secondly, if you must know, I just finished doing my daily affirmations. Daily affirmations? Hey, ain't they kind of weird? Like is it with son? <laughs> Self-love is the best love. Ain't nobody gonna love me like me. So if me loving me makes me weird, then I guess I'm just gonna be a weird ass. Uh, okay, I, I guess that makes sense. Matter of fact, speaking of weird, what the hell you want? What you mean, speaking? Anyway, I got something I wanna show you real quick. Like what? Come on, Dad, it's a surprise. Is it a surprise for me? I mean, not really, but... Well, then it ain't no damn surprise. Dad, can you just come see? What the heck? All right, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Damn. Talk about surprise. And it better not be no damn bug either. I don't want to see no damn cockroaches with wings. I don't want to see no damn spider, no beetle. It better not be no damn bug. And if it is, you better kill it. You know, I don't mess with no damn... Dad, it's not no bug. Can you just come here? All right. Don't play with me. I burn this, burn this damn house down with both of us in it. And you know I will. What is it? Come on, Dad, have a seat. All right, Dad, so check this out, right? So, as of recently, I started rapping. You? Oh, hell no. We, we, wait, Dad, where you going? Son. Don't take this the wrong way, okay? But when it come to rapping, singing, dancing, humming hell, whistling, anything having to do with any kind of rhythm, you ass with a capital A. What? I'm talking about bad, terrible, absolutely atrocious. Matter of fact, for the first 10 years of your life, I thought the doctor gave me the wrong baby. I was about to sue the state. I say this damn baby got about as much rhythm as a bag of rocks. Ain't no way in hell this baby mine. Matter of fact, I knew damn well you wasn't mine, cause you came home clapping like this. I said, what the hell wrong with this damn baby? But, lo and behold, I did the DNA test and unfortunately, you, I mean, fortunately, you mine. So, you know, I, I might do it again though, just to be sure, cause I still don't know. Dad, for real, like, I really tried my hardest and I think it sounds pretty good. Can you just listen to it? <sighs> okay, okay, all right. I was trying to say you the embarrassment, but if you want me to hit a damn thing, I hit. But listen here, you know me. You know I don't bite my tongue, and I ain't gonna tell you no damn lie. So if it's bad, I guarantee I'm gonna tell you it's bad. Okay, and what if it's good, though? Oh, I know it won't be. I can tell you 100%. I already know, nigga. I bet you everything in my bank account, plus both arms, that it's not gonna be good. Ain't no way in hell. I already know it. Well, damn. All right, come on. Let me hit it. All right, here we go. Hey, this your boy, d May. Oh, God. Me? I've been puffing on that gas. You puffing oh, on my the hell on. cash. Huh? Huh? You been puffing on what? I, first of all, when the hell did you start smoking? And secondly, who house have you been smoking? I tell you what, only thing gonna be smoking in this house is your ass after this belt done sliced it. No, 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 Dad, you got it wrong. I, I don't smoke or nothing. So what the hell is you talking about puffing on gas? Dad, that's just how people rap nowadays. It ain't gotta be true, it just gotta sound good. What the Boy, have you lost your damn mind? See, this is wrong with your generation. This is why I don't listen to rap music now. Because all y'all do is lie about stuff that you ain't doing and trick these little kids into believing you're somebody that you're not. You mean to tell me you can't make a good rap song and tell the truth at the same time? No, not really. But dad, listen, listen. That's just how rap is. Everybody do that. Ever Boy, don't you want to be a leader instead of a follower? It depends on how much they paying. All right, you know what? All I'm saying is, if you got to lie to make a good rap song, then you're not a good rapper. So can I finish the song? Or can you finish? Hurry up! Okay, cool. Damn. Damn, kids. Hey, this your boy D-May. Oh, God. 
I been puffing on that gas. Puffin'. You know I got this cash. cash. I pull up in the stack. Yeah. She say she wanna smash. Running up on me and I brr, brr, brr. Yeah. Yeah. get up on my face, huh? I be uh, flipping packs, huh? Flippin Smoking pack. on these drugs. Whoa. Everybody thugs. Ah. I'm a rapper too, too. So give me a hug. I'm a Williams Kennedy's fan. I need to wear my little honey. Why can't I get honey? Mr. Smart Ass. I ain't slow, I remember. And when did I come in last? Uh, about, about, about 25 years ago. Excuse me, sir, with all due respect, get the hell off my phone. What the hell you mean get off my, uh, hello? Hello? I know he just hang up at, what's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. I've been on this earth over 40 years and never in my entire existence have I heard anything like you just played for me just now? You ain't never, what? It's like that? That's what I'm talking about. So, so on a scale of like one to 10, what you think? Like, probably like a nine? Negative everything. You don't deserve a number. What you mean? That was absolutely terrible. Not only is you lying about smoking, you talking about making money. What money? You just asked me for $5 yesterday. Then, you talking about you gonna shoot somebody. Talking about run up on me, bang, bang, bang. I sprayed your ass with the water hose and you started crying. Who the hell is you finna shoot? You by the soft as a marshmallow. Oh, and then you really lost your mind talking about she wanna smash. Who the hell is she and where has she been? Cause I ain't seen her. The only relationship you got is the one you got with that damn lotion beside your bed. Dang. Hey, don't get mad at me as the kids say. I'm just keeping it a band. Somebody gotta say it. Talking about smoking on that gas. How you gonna smoke something you can't afford? What we'll think I'm some kind of damn fool? What you know the hell y'all looking at? I ain't being mean. Somebody gotta say it. He know I'm me no harm. Ain't that right, Daryl? Ah, he get over it. Stop all that damn crying. You might care about that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later. The hell is you crying for? I ain't gonna count. I'm a little scared. Probably should have thought about what I said. Wasn't really thinking when I told the fed and all these damn. What? what was that? Damn. Oh, hell, I done hit another dog. Oh, Lord, that's the fourth one. I don't know why people can't keep their dogs in the damn leaf. Come on, bro. Keep. Why would you put a cone in the middle of the... That's what I be talking about, man. People ain't got no sense, bro. You're lucky you ain't scratch my... Ah! Oh, my God! No, 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 it's ruined. It's ruined. It's ruined. What about me, Lord? What I do, Jesus? It's ruined. What am I supposed to do now? My life is over. Just take me, Jesus. Hey, man, what's going on? You good? Hell no, I ain't good. What the hell kind of question is that? What's going on? What's the problem? What's the, what the hell you mean? What the, look at my car! It's ruined! It's... What you... What you mean? It's, what's wrong with it? What you mean you don't think... You don't, look at the got the... Look at that! Oh man, look at that! I can't even drive it no more! My life is over! What I'm gonna do? <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I am so sorry. Let me just go to my car and get you some tissue to wipe your tears. Oh, that's right. I ain't got one. Hey, what's going on, bro? You good? What? You blind or you just plain stupid? What the hell are you doing? Look at my car. Somebody left a freaking cone in the street and now my bumper got a scratch on it. Is he serious? I can't even drive it no more. Might well get rid of it. Hell, if you don't want it, give it to me. It took me four paychecks to buy this damn scooter. Talking about it got a little scratch on the bumper. Have you lost your damn mind? I had to shove these damn handlebars up your- Man, damn! 
I got it. <laughs> I know what to do. I'ma sue the city. See, they the ones left the cone in the damn street. So really, this is they fault. <laughs> I'ma sue their ass. I'm finna be rich. <laughs> damn! What was that? Damn! Jesus? Look around. You say what? Look around and tell me what you see. Look. Hey, mama, what's going on? I ain't talked to you about, what, three years? Look here. Oh, uh, can you send me $2 for the bus? I think the bus... Hey! Hey, hold on, wait a minute! You're ungrateful, bastard! Come on, start! Come on! Come on! Oh, not again! Man! What the hell you mean I gotta pay a deductible to use my insurance? How about I deduct my foot up your ass? You know what, Jesus? You right. It's an auto body shop right there. They can fix it. <laughs> Daryl, get over here! You want, you want me? Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. You got one person over here struggling to start his car. You got another person that took him four paychecks just to ride on a scooter. And you got this poor slow man over here that can't even catch the bus. I should have blessed him with some speed, but I didn't. All these other people out here struggling, and you complaining about a scratch on your Tesla. You really think that really matters right now, son? I think you should just be grateful for what you have, regardless of a little scratch. It still drive, don't it? You could have it a lot worse than a lot of other people out here. Uh, oh God, so Jesus, I feel you, but see, the thing is, that's a Tesla, and you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure, as you know already, you know what I'm saying, those cars are pretty expensive, and so, you see a little paint job, the paint job is worth 4000 dollars and you might think, you know what I'm saying, I mean, that might be easy for me, as a matter of fact, that's probably easy for you, you know what I'm saying, because you missed the big money, you feel me, you in heaven, you know what I'm saying, Golden Gates, and the angels be singing, and all that stuff, see, I ain't got money like that, I ain't got that kind of money, so 4000 dollars to me is a lot, you know what I'm saying, so, it more than a little scratch, because I don't get paid till next Friday, so, matter of fact, you don't believe me, you know, because you, you, you look at me like I'm crazy, so, let me show you the receipt, so you believe me, because I think you probably. What happened to my Jesus? Hey, don't blame me. I tried to tell you. You tried to what? Oh, Lord, I've been robbed. Well, that goes to show you. If you don't appreciate it, somebody else will. What, Jesus, what am I supposed to do now? Well, it looked like that bus about to leave, so you better go catch it. You... Damn! Okay, oh, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Slide on him, slide on him. Hell yeah. Yo, yep. D, yep. where you at, yep. bro? They double teaming me. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming right now. I'm coming, I'm coming right now. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, come, come on, bro. Not right now. Oh, come on, man. Hey, where you at, bro? I'm taking damage. Bro, my game is lagging right now. I can't do nothing. Daryl Mays, come in, Daryl Mays. Bring your ass. I'm up against like six people. Bro, bro, I, bro I hear you. My game is lagging. What you want me to do? I can't do nothing. I want you to bring your ass. I can't. My Wi-Fi acting up. Hey, I'm Oh my god, bro. To I told you, give me a second, bro. I can't do nothing. I'm coming. Give me a second. Damn, I told you my Wi-Fi tripping. Oh my god, bro. I'm dead because of you. It's not my fault, bro. My screen all pixelated. What am I supposed to do? Stupid ass internet. That's why I ain't playing with your sorry ass, bro. You selfish. Every time you go down, I help you. Bro, bro, you not listening to me, bro. It's not my fault. It's my Wi-Fi. I'm going to beat your ass, bro. Every time we play together, you be on some bull. Oh, it's my Wi-Fi. Oh, it's my Wi-Fi. Get some new Wi-Fi to you. You gonna pay that new Wi-Fi bill? I did. Ain't my fault you died because you ass. Yes, it is, bro. I call you. All right, bro. All right, I'm about to be, I'm about to be trying. All right, man. In that trash, man. They didn't even play my game. Don't make no damn sick of your lying ass. It's not your fault, huh? It's not your fault. Man, how the hell you get my ass? I want something with you. Every time we play, it's something. It's my Wi-Fi. It's my Wi-Fi. The hell with that. Don't lie on it. Damn. <laughs> my bad, bro. I thought you was lying. I told you it wasn't my fault. Well, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. You trying to run it back? You get your ass out. Don't get an attitude with me because I made a mistake. Mean ass. Woo! Yeah! Hey, what's up, bro? Nothing, bro. You, it's my first day off in like two weeks, bro. So you know I gotta kick you with my boy? Are you home? I'm finna come over there. Actually, bro, um, 
<laughs> I'm kind of busy today. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a little business to take care of, so might have to reschedule. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, my bad, bro. I just, I, just, I just had some stuff come up, you know? Nah, nah. I mean, you good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got stuff to do. <laughs> you feel me? I, 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 you saying? I just, um, I just chill by myself. You know what I'm saying? Independently solo, all alone, as one. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you saying you got stuff to do. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So just get yeah, down, just um just hit me when you got some time. Alright, bet, bro. I uh I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Alright, peace. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I mean it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure it's nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? He probably, probably got a doctor appointment or something. I'm straight. Like, I don't need no friends, you know what I'm saying? To make me feel, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel whole. Like, I'm an independent young black male. You feel me? Like, I don't need nobody to make me feel good. You see what I'm saying? Like, I chill by myself. So, I grew up without a daddy. Like, I don't need protected. You feel me? Like, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm take me a walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna walk by, you know, I'm gonna walk by his house, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure everything's scraped, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, do you trying to chill? Nah, I'm too busy. I got stuff to do today. I got business to handle. <laughs> got business to handle. Like your car still in your driveway. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. By Derek Rose. Oh boy, you have you gonna have to come harder than that, boy. Dang, bro, how did you miss that, bro? You garbage, boy. What? Bro, whatever, bro. You, ain't, I'm letting you win, bro. I'm not even, I'm not even trying, bro. I'm letting you win. Come on, Ooh, man. Stephen Curry with the three, with the, th oh, with the three. You got the best team, bro. Come, I don't even want to hear that, bro. Come on, boy, get it together, boy. Come on, man, stop playing. Yeah. Hey, D, you better pay attention, bro. You finna take this L. The what? Boy, I don't take L's from nobody. Boy, what you talking about? Boy, you mean you didn't take L's. Not till today. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, What's so bro? funny? I want to laugh. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Who's this? Oh, uh, <laughs> this Marquise? Oh, that's Marquise, huh? Yeah, he just, uh, he just, he just, he just moved in next door. <laughs> What's up, man? So, <laughs> this the business you had to take care of? <laughs> uh, kinda. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Take the day to. Show Marquise around, you know what I'm saying? Play a little bit of 2K, you know what I'm saying? Maybe get some food, oh. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Where, 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 uh, where y'all going? Nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Probably, probably just grab some McDonald's or something. What? You know what I'm saying? McDonald's? I thought you said we was going to Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I thought Waffle House was our spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? So really, it's everybody's spot, you know what I'm saying? So like, it ain't really like a one-on-one -on -one exclusive type thing, you know, so people go all the time, so you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, I, I mean, you, you know me about seven, eight years, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I, I like Waffle House, you see what I'm saying? So, can I go? Or, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, um, I mean, it's more like a one-on-one -on -one type thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, to get to know each other, you see what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, I mean, I yeah, mean, um, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying, we, we, about to, we about to leave out now, right? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, 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 um, I'll hit you later. Oh, oh you gonna hit me later. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 
Okay, wir reden. Round two, round two. Oh, Lord, have mercy. 